You know, I don't think anyone was expecting the monsters in the ultra size category, the largest creatures of the of the land to be objectively dumber fucks than anything we've seen in prior monster ranchers. They are so they're dumber than dirt. They don't know what's going on. I don't think they, I don't, some of them don't even know they're alive, I don't think. They might just think this is some kind of weird, horrible purgatory dream state. Like, I don't know where, what's up out there. But, what I can say is I'm willing to channel all that unbridled ignorance. Like, just complete ignorant bliss of theirs into a killing machine. I'm willing to channel all their power, all their raw, insane power. And just really, really focus it down into something that could just fucking punch a hole through another giant big thing. I am okay to do that. They only live four years. There is, now listen here, motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> there ain't nothing. There is no precedent that says that these monsters die in four years. There is not, that doesn't exist, okay? So until, okay, until my robot boy, Mario, of the Nintendo Cinematic Universe, voice acted by everyone's beloved, Chris Pratt, okay, falls over, dead, okay? I'm gonna keep yelling at him to kill whatever's in front of him. I don't care. They said they retire after three to four years. Oh, they said that? The fucking, the monster fucking said that? That's rich? I, I only know one retirement they're going to be fucking catching. I'll tell you what. Who said that? The, 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 the fucking Jar Jar Binks looking ass? Motherfucker? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Also, happy birthday, Petri. Congratulations. You made it again for another year. Congratulations. Congratulations. But yeah, we're likely not going to go seven hours again. Okay. I have my, my, the constant nausea that I've been feeling every day for the last like three days now. It ain't going anywhere, baby. It's not, it's not, it's not going anywhere. Uh, so I'm. I'm just kind of trucking along as I accept that this is probably like my my long-term post-virus symptom is just feeling pretty good aside from the fact that like if there's not constantly something being eaten by me or drank by me my stomach just goes like I feel like I'm gonna fucking like vom but only a little uh, it's been like that for like three days now Whatever, man, I can live with it. It's just, it's hard to do like long streams because eventually my body is like, hey, you need to eat something. You have to eat something. You gotta. So, that's kind of me. That's me. But that's okay. That's a small problem to have. Yes, I've heard insert the news about Dwarf Fortress. You and like fucking 40, 100,000 other people have already told me. I'm sorry, I, don't, I shouldn't be getting mad at you. It's just, yes, of course. Pretty much across the board, if it's something I talked about on stream personally myself without someone prompting me to talk about it at any point in the last year, I was probably told immediately by like at least 80 people when that news happened. So yes. <laughs> I have heard. It's not like I don't live under like a rock. All right, I caught it. I got there. Now let me know when EDF is coming out in the U.S. All right, that's one I might not hear about because they don't have, they don't have advertising. So let me know when that one happens because EDF six someday copium. <laughs> I heard some, like, people on Reddit theorizing that, like, because I looked it up on the EDF Reddit, and some people on, like, the EDF Reddit were like, you know what? It might not be in the, it might not be, like, in the U.S., but sometimes when 
uh, these games imported over to like China and like overseas from Japan, like not to the not to the U.S., but like to China and places like that, they do occasionally have like English translation, just not English voice acting, because that happened with EDF Five, where like it came out way earlier in like areas like that but just ha didn't have English voice acting. And I was like, I don't fucking know how the hell I'm gonna, man. People were like giving like fucking janky ass links to like weird storefronts online. And I, I just like, uh. and then people were also like, and sometimes the subtitles are just Google auto translated. And I was like, Oh, I mean, I don't really even care about the in-game subtitles. I don't need to know what they're saying ever. God knows I don't. But I need to know what my gun does. I don't know. Am I like the only guy who wants EDF-6? Because you'd think... You'd think... You'd, you'd think they'd know. You know? You'd think they'd know by now that we that people people demand it. EDF is very popular. In this, in the states, I would say at this point. Honestly, I'm fine with 4.1. No one fucking asked you, Jack. Yeah, stay fine with it. All right, the rest of us want the new thing. I'm mad. I'm mad, man. All right, now I'm mad. Addicted to kaijus? Dude, I just... Bro. I just want to be the best. I just want to be the best. And, god damn it. If Mario wasn't an ancient creature now about to die on his deathbed, he could have been it. But you know he's almost done. The last thing I can maybe do with Mario is sending it, send him into the C rank like tournament and see if maybe he can squeak us through to B rank before he fucking dies. He's got like two weeks left. I'm trying to... Look, if I can stall Mario out long enough... Okay, to get all of the errand trees possible that are available unlocked. There's those weird fucking twins or whatever, that errand tree that I like didn't do. If I can also kill them, get theirs unlocked. The next monster will have so many fucking moves at their disposal. I want to make an intelligence character next. But I don't think I'm going to be able to kill those, that, that, that new errand tree person's creature. I'm honestly just doubting it. Because they're like fucking unbelievably cracked every single time. Can you combo them? I want an int creature. Uh, which means, yeah, I could combo the robot into something. But I'd rather not have the same die again. Int monster? Did you just fucking Omega lol an int monster? In goddamn Monster Rancher, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, hang on. I have to literally answer this phone call. I'll be right back. Okay, whoever it was, they called and then did not say anything for the duration of the entire message. No, it was not a scam message, it was from my... 
It was from someone. I, it, it's from someone I'm actively paying money to do things. They were. They're not trying to scam me. But uh, they. Whatever happened. It must have been a, maybe a call and error. Or something bugged out. Or something freaking bugged out. I have no idea why they'd call me, though. They stole the phone number, you think? Butt dialer. That's what it felt like, considering there was no one on the line. I honestly just shouldn't answer. I should let things go to voicemail more often, but every single time I let anything go to my voicemail, uh, my voicemail so politely lets me know after they get sent to voicemail that, in fact, my voicemail has no space for more voicemail. And then when I look inside of my voicemail for how much space there was in my voicemail, uh, I have five saved messages. And then my, and then Verizon's like, we literally cannot fit more. There is no more space in there. And then I look at the amount of hard drive space on my phone and it says hundreds of gigabytes are in there, ready to be used. And then Verizon says, you're gonna have to pay us another $20 <laughs> to save these voicemails. Do you think we're playing around? And then I start sweating. But Verizon, I, I only have, I only have the space for the five voicemails. Some of these are important. Sorry. L O L. L O L. L M A O. Get fucked. Did you know that practically anyone can access your voicemail if you don't set a voicemail password? If someone wants to access my fucking, like, voicemail, my worthless fucking voicemails I get from, like, my doctor, have a good fucking time. Like, honestly, enjoy. You can, you can, you can foot the, they can foot the bills for some of my copays while they're at it. Nice. Hop on in. Come on in. I turned off voicemail so long ago I forgot I had it. They had to have butt dialed me. That was like, that was super duper definitely a butt dial, but now I'm like, now I'm like thinking like, was my Bluetooth, like, I have like a blue, Bluetooth headphones I, I use when I like listen to like audiobooks and stuff. Was it, was it, were they coming out of there? Now it's gonna be fucking in my head, god damn it. So I need to like get my phone the fuck away from my desk when I work, but then again, sometimes I do get important text. Honestly, if a hacker got my bank account, they'd cry and give me money. Says broke teacher. Uh, you know what? Damn, man. Maybe. Checks out. Name checks out. <laughs> the, name, the name checks out super well. No one's disputing that. If you actually are a teacher, it is true. Feels bad, man. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. I lost 97,000 channel points against you last stream. Just wanted to tell you. I'm sorry about all the literal Monopoly money that you lost yesterday. Literal Monopoly money worth zero value. You can't even like trans, you can't even like, there's no transaction to like get it to like be of any value. Even like socially in this chat. Because I don't allow them. So it's truly just like having a bunch of Monopoly money pulled out of your hand. 
Although I bet actual Monopoly money would get you farther than tomato gaming channel points, don't you think? Elon Musk will change that. Bro. I have been watching the new the new developments of um all that Stephen King had to do was say there's no fucking way I'm doing that shit and then Elon was like um uh but uh fuck off he won't do it none of them will bro oh and then dropped the price down from twenty dollars to eight dollars knee jerk reaction like it was fucking nothing it's like he didn't think about any part of this entire process at all and is now like hilariously embarrassing himself in front of literally millions of people. I can't help but feel like that's what's been happening. The greatest... Like, this is like... This whole Twitter thing is the greatest fumble I've ever seen. I, like, truly, this is one of the most embarrassing billionaire fumbles I've seen in a while, and I'm I'm here for it, dude. I don't, I have zero attachment to social media sites. I'd love to... I'm, I'm enjoying just kicking back, back and watching, it, like, a billionaire fumble the ball so fucking bad. He can... He's gonna land right next to Zuck in the embarrassment's dunce corner. I mean, they were both already over there, but, like, come on. I thought Meadow was embarrassing. <laughs> but I've never seen someone walk back the... Tw the, t f the speed at which... You know, he's gotten just owned for this $20, like, checkpoint, thing, which is truly a bully me icon now. It is. Like, no one's denying that. Like, to have a check mark after this goes through is a, it's a bully me button. It's a pick on me icon. You think Tumblr will rise? I... Only know a couple people that even know how Tumblr works. That site truly, the format of that site confuses me to the extent where I don't think I, I don't think many people could fucking jump over to that ship in a million billion years. Yeah, right. Doesn't make any sense. Plus, when people talk about Tumblr, I, it's one of the only sites that when it comes up, there are people that go, "You can't make me go back there." Like it was a hostage situation and they barely escaped with their life. And they beg you to stop talking about it after that. So I'm like, no, I don't think so. My space will rise again. No, it fucking won't. Give it up. No, it won't. That site sucked and still sucks. <laughs> it's, a, it's a meme. It won't ever come back. Google Plus, baby. Now that's a site we can get behind. Now that's a site we can get behind. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But yeah. I, I for one, quite enjoy turning on Twitter out of mild curiosity every single day and just seeing as Elon's uh, free speech paradise turns into a place where he can't moderate the unbelievable torrent of people of basically everyone on the site bullying him. <laughs> he would need an army of bots to defend himself from the amount of relentless bullying and trolling and owning that's been going directly towards him. It's glorious. And he can't do anything about it. Because to do anything about it would be to basically dunk on himself and everything he said. <laughs> Literally, all he can do is put on his clown makeup. It's so funny. It's so funny. He found something to unite the people. Hatred for him. It's like, I, look, if you're going to be a billionaire... You better on record solve 90% of the world's problems with all that money, or I better never hear from you for the rest of my life and not know you existed, all right? Until you die in, like, a newspaper article. Okay, that's the only two billionaires I want to see. You better have massive charitable donations across the board, or I better only hear about you because you're some old crusty fuck that's about to die or is dead.
Hmm. Or you better be Batman. <laughs> or or you better be like beating up, I guess, like poor people in the streets in the middle of the night. I guess. Yeah, I guess that works too. I don't think we actually want a Batman. Oh no, if we had an actual Batman, that would be the true dismantling of society if we found out that Elon Musk on top of this was also dressing up in a fucking costume and beating up people. So that that would be it, chat. That would I think for a lot of people, that would be it. <laughs> That'd be it. Ugh. That tea slapped, dude. I've been quite enjoying tea lately. Damn. But yeah, I gotta, we're gonna do, we'll do a solid stream today. I have no idea how long we'll go. I went a little longer than I should have yesterday, and my voice today is kind of paying the price. But, uh, we'll definitely do a normal length stream. And tomorrow I'm streaming as well. Uh, we're probably gonna do Minecraft tomorrow. If I had to bet. If I had to bet, we're probably gonna do Minecraft tomorrow because, um... Lawman and I, I wanna do the, we wanna finish, like, the train stuff. Once and for all, we want that, we want that dealt with. I mean, although, to be honest, here's the thing. I've now done a lot of Minecraft. I'm definitely reaching my, like, and don't tell any of the others. I'm reaching my looking around its November arc. You know what I mean? Like, I had a lot, I've had a lot of fun. But I'm definitely, like, there's a, I have a burnout period at Minecraft where eventually I'm like I'm looking around there are games coming out and things I want to do and I've had a lot of fun playing with everyone but like I'm not I know I'm not the only person that's felt like the loss of productivity from Minecraft as in like immediately can connect it to a loss of productivity on my side and yeah it was really easy to do while I was sick but like now that I'm back to like being good I'm looking around I'm like fuck I got stuff I gotta do I'm busy. I know Juniper is the same way. I don't think she plays it anymore because similar boat to me. At least I'm able to stream it though. But yeah, I've got, I've got both stuff I want to play on my free time and stuff I want to do in my off time. And yeah, but not like, yeah, she was on last night, but not very long. Like a lot of us are kind of reaching our, like, we need to start stepping it back stuff. As much fun as I've had playing with everyone, it's just more of like, I'm not saying I'm gonna quit the Minecraft server or anything, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna abandon the group, considering I'm, like, a very central part of it. But, I also know that if I don't kind of, like, cold, like, just flat out cold turkey, cut it off and stop doing it, I will constantly have this weird feeling of, like, obligation to play mixed with like FOMO that I'm not playing when other people are playing for the next like week like month of my life uh so I do need to at a certain point be like this is it I pass the wrench on to another I give you my I give you everything I own carry on my legacy if you so choose because uh, I I like that's gonna happen at some point this month that's happening because now Minecraft has also gotten in the way of many other things I need to do. Everything the sun touches. Pass your legacy onto a VTuber? Pass the wrench? I'd pass it on to Lawman. For sure. Besides, he's already done plenty. And he knows everything about Create now. He could easily pick up all my projects. Easily. Give it to give it all to Lena. I don't think Lena plays anymore. I don't blame her either. People kept breaking into her house and stealing stuff and like fucking with shit, which is not cool. So, I don't. I do not blame her for stopping. 
But yeah. It's a bummer. Because, I mean, obviously the server, to me, was a lot more fun when, like, everyone was doing it. It's still fun. It's just, like, I'm definitely not, I don't feel as social anymore. I'm more of just, like, doing the server to, like, push the limits of, like, the couple of ideas I had. And then I'm, and then I'm out of there. All right, I want to finish the train thing. But even then, look, here's a problem, chat. We kind of, me and, me and Lawman, once we, like, set up the station and stuff, we did have, like, a moment of looking at the map. We were like looking at the map and stuff and we were like, uh, we don't even know, like, yeah, goofing aside, yes, we can technically drill through fucking everything, but like, it's fucked up to drill through spawn. So we don't really want to do that. So we have to, add, we had to literally get permission to do every part. Cause like we would have needed to do the train thing like two weeks ago. And we didn't. So like, we kind of have a situation now where we have to be like, we need to ask almost everyone if it's okay to do this. And like Ross gave me like a blanket, like, fuck yeah, dude. You can do what you want. This is cool. Let us know when it's done. And then I was like, cool, right on. And now that I'm there, I'm like, oh boy. There's still a lot going on. Still a lot of people. Aren't you super far down? Yeah, but if someone else moved into an area with the concept of doing something super far down, they'd be bummed to find out I put a train tunnel underneath their house, wouldn't they? Without asking them. And they'd be justified to carve right through it and break it. So, like, we charted out this idea of, like, we need to go south. And then there's this place called like the pit on the server that's like also at bedrock level that has already acknowledged our shit so we can work with them and like connect there we have permission to do that already we can link up with them and then we can cut across to sci-fi and voice box and then like shane and boone and then jump across another like opening to where we want to go initially. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of logistics and it's kind of overwhelming. It's a lot, man. It's a lot, man. Perhaps organize a server to make a link train system so we, they know what's going on. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, linking all the trains and stuff is really hard because that stuff's only single player client side. Like, the schedule stuff is only given to the person that owns the train block. Like, the, uh, the notifications of, oh, there's a problem with the train, etc, etc. So, like, if people start editing train stations and stuff, that's gonna break things. Something gets broken one time is gonna fuck up everything on the train thing. And my brain's just, like, making something that's community-based with that train thing is that's a, that's hard man i'm realizing that's hard i'm not i'm not quitting but it's like that's a nightmare waiting to happen basically there needs to be like a fucking tutorial on how to do it before i'd be willing to like let the public anywhere near it you know what i mean you'd have to you'd have to actually pull like a you'd have to make people watch a tutorial I'm not quitting, but I won't do it. Well, think about it like this. Okay. It's very important to the health of an SMP that, like, the people that are doing big things are active on the server. Okay. And it'd be kind of a dick move for me to do all the motions for, like, hey, let's set up this big community train system and I'll take the reins on it. You know what I mean? It's kind of a dick move for me to do that and also simultaneously say like on the stream today that I'm not planning on doing this past this month. You know what I mean? Like that I'm not planning on going much longer. Kind of an asshole move for me to take a but like any kind of baton and then fucking double back immediately after. You know? So like that's also another thing in my head. 
Especially if I'm gonna carve through people's fucking houses or like basements. You know what I mean? Not really, you can pass the torch. I just explained the reasons why it's kind of hard to pass the torch. Uh, at least for trains in that, like, that's a comp that's more complicated than passing over mechanics. Uh, plus people, again, anyone can kind of tamper with that shit unintentionally and fuck with it. And it's all, I look, what I'm trying to say is that the train thing might be more of a fun, like, visual vanity thing. But the actual functionality of setting up a train thing is, like, straight up. A busted. Plus, and this is something that I actually did speak with Ross about because they tested this. Um, if a train is unoccupied, like no one is with it and it's automatically moving across the map and it enters a chunk that is not loaded by a player, it will just break at points and split into like multiple trains and like crap like that and explode. Uh, the only way to get that to happen otherwise is to have the chunks forced loaded. Uh, and... Now, that was easier, like, back when you could claim a large swath of chunks and own that property and force it to load along the line. But now, it's owned by 40 different people in a line. So there is no automated trains feasibly, like, there's no feasible way to do that in reality. Without having, like, a dumb, like, without contacting every single person in that line and being like, Hi, can you claim this zone? You know? You knew? But yeah, I will... I, I'm still wanna... I, I'm workshopping ideas, because I don't wanna just, like... I, what I'd feel worse about doing with the server is is just dropping off the face of the earth. You know what I mean? I don't wanna just be like, and I'm never playing it again. And people will just walk up to my shell of a base, which currently has key card locks. And just wonders, like, what's up with him? What's that guy's fucking deal? Like some myth? The abandoned facility. What I could see myself doing more with it is like, if they, if, cause there's other create mods and stuff. Now, obviously I'm not, I don't, I don't even know if the server could handle, like there, aren't there like mods to add like even more stuff to create? If they added like more like depth again, or create gets an update, I would go back to do that and like tinker around with the new stuff, you know? Dwemer POV. Man, it's just hard. It's hard whenever we do like... That's why I never really got big into like RP servers and stuff. But I don't regret doing anything on the Minecraft server. I've had a blast. And it was really nice to get to like do stuff with friends again. But like I'm also keenly aware of that. The time is coming for me to get on that old dusty trail. Time's, time's a coming. Quitter talk. I'm a variety streamer, and I think a lot of people that want me to keep doing Minecraft forever might be Minecraft viewers, and I understand. But I'll go back to Minecraft one day. But until that day comes, you simply have to accept the fact that at some point this month will be the last Minecraft bounce SMP thing, at least for a while. Because I am not a man who can play the same thing or even like not even like the same thing But just one thing over and over again in a short span of time and not get like not start looking at my other options and going like mm, That looks fun and Then it's SS13 time again. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said that SS13 wasn't, like, 
postponed by not only a bunch of IRL bullshit, but then also this, right when I was like ready to like start the ball rolling again. It's gotten really fucked this year, but like it's much more important for me this year that SS13 lands in a time where I am comfortably able to do it because God knows last time I was simultaneously really busy when I launched it again. And also then like stuff happened, uh, you know, at the same time too on their end. And it just kind of sabotaged last year a bit. So I'm, it's much more important to me that I don't rush it. I don't care if it ends up not being something that lands annually this year. Uh, I care more about making sure that it's timed at a point where it's going to most comfortably be possible. For, but not only me, but as many of my friends and like mutual acquaintances that want to try it. That's more important to me. Uh, legit like there's no rush the goon station team has made it very clear that they are open for whenever I want to get this ball rolling uh, and there's not a single way I'm, I'm gonna be like yeah, we're doing it now and just do it like on a weekend like on, on a like unannounced like it's it's gonna be something that I take my time with because timing is really important for that tomato did you play uh and this pretty much I can say just insert any other SS13 server. No, and I probably won't. I'm and some people actually genuinely take issue to this. Um, I'm very comfortable and very happy working with Goon Station, and it's the server code base I'm the most comfortable also playing. And I have no interest in branching out beyond that right now. I've had people even contact me and ask, like, why don't you contact the dev team of another SS13 thing instead of Goon Station? just because and i'm like because many of the like goon station team i'm very very happy and comfortable working with they're all super nice and have been super accommodating for me and i like them <laughs> i like them and would like to keep working with them thank you there's like some weird like like code-based rivalry crap, I guess, that happens, where people are like, I'd rather this streamer do, like, this code base, because I don't like that one. And it's like, well, simultaneously, I, I have no negative opinions towards any of the other ones, but I know this one, and I know the people, and that matters a lot to me, too, so... As a viewer, I really like the Goon Station vibes. It's also very easy because they're very accommodating for me. I'm not a very social person. I'm not about to run down a new code base, regardless. Even if even if that was on the table, which it literally is not. Because again, I want to work with Goon Station. They're very cool. Streamer, why are you not playing Krungle Station? Um. Huh? Fuck. I was worried someone would ask me about Krungle Station. My everyone's favorite station. No, chat, you're saying Krungo Station. I said Krungle Station. They're different. They're very different things. Why don't you fucking listen to what's said around you for once? What are you dumber than a sack of bricks? Open your eyes. Look around. I have learned the brand of weird bullshit of Goon Station. I do not wish to learn the new weird bullshit of a different station is the most valid take when the game itself already has too much weird bullshit to begin with. Literally. <laughs> I don't know how people have time to learn multiple code bases for SS13. I'm barely proficient in the one that I know. I literally, I don't play SS13 every month of the year. I play it the month we do the server, to be clear. I'm 
So I, I like don't have time either. So hopefully that addresses that because I know that comes up every time I talk about SS13 for some reason, the concept of playing on a new server for it. Now, pass, man. Unless it was, cr if the Krungle Station devs reached out though. Maybe. I think about it if the Krungle Station devs asked. You wish. Yeah, I know. I know. How's MC been going? Rewind the VOD. <laughs> uh, when's Twitch gonna add like actual bottom of the video feed scrolling backwards like to rewind? I'm so tired of this. It's not even your fault, but holy hell. The amount of people that'll come in, ask something that I tragically stopped talking about five minutes prior is so sad. When they finally get competent management, L-O-L. L-O-L. Fucking true! How's your dog doing since yesterday night? They were just barking yesterday. They're fine. <laughs> They're not, they weren't like dying. What do you mean? How are they doing? They were just barking because of the, because trick or treating. It wasn't even anxiety. It wasn't dog anxiety. It was dog. Let, let me get that person to pet me now. Also, simultaneously, dog, don't come anywhere fucking closer. I don't know what I like. More so than anything, when they bark. I don't know if I want you to pet me or if I want you to die. I don't know, man. That dog hasn't gotten the right stat requirements to make it to C rank. You guys monster ranchering my dog? E rank dog. I never thought I'd see a fucking message like that in my goddamn life. Bumblebee was F rank. Yeah, no, that Bumblebee, the garage door Bumblebee. I think everyone knows that Bumblebee was an F-rank fighter. The way they got caught up inside of a garage door closing and got literally bisected. Cutting Twain. Frog wasn't was an S-rank? Dude, if we don't get- look. All right, last time I did a Monster Rancher stream where I ended at C rank, I got to B rank and then died. We have to at least get to B rank and then die. Uh, I, yeah, no, uh, permanently. No, I, yeah, I mean permanently. You're B rank now. No, I'm not. Aren't I C? What? I'm C. I technically did the, I did the like accreditation to get my license. I'm C. Oh, IRL? CD's nuts. <sighs> Fuck. I'm just so fucking tired. I'm just so fucking tired of this. Ultra Man! Arise! I need someone to defend me online! I call Ultraman. You're gonna get the shit kicked out of you now. Ultraman's gonna kick your ass. That'll be eight dollars. What do you mean Ultraman's gonna charge me eight dollars? What are you fucking talking about? He's the hero of light. $8 a month. He needs to pay for Twitter, bro. 
Dude, I give Elon a month before he either f completely shuts down Twitter somehow, scares everyone off of the site, or sells it to someone else for less money than he got it. I give him a month to do one of those three things. Because last I checked somehow, and I'm not even sure how this mathed out. Somehow Elon bought Twitter, and in buying Twitter, Twitter went into debt, and now needs to make money to get rid of the debt. You'd think that that wouldn't happen when you get per like when you make a sale that significant. Uh, apparently, apparently Twitter's actually in the red and has to do this because they have no money. Like somehow Elon managed to speed run Twitter's bankruptcy or something. Uh, Twitter is not a profitable company, no. Uh, but uh, apparently he spiraled it deep into debt by this purchase. Uh, which, which is not great. He borrowed a shitload of money to fund it. Well, that's because the fucking bozo was like, I'll buy Twitter. And then Twitter was like, okay, let's start getting that sorted. That costs a lot of money to get that started. We'll get that started. If that's what you really want to fucking do, idiot. And then he was like, Saeek! And then Twitter was like, so we're going to sue you instead now. Because that's not right. That's a, that's illegal. So he was basically left with the option of either A, purchase Twitter with the money he didn't fucking have on hand to do, or B, get fucking sued instead. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fuck up actual circus. I love it, dude. To be to be clear again, I love watching billionaires fumble the ball hard. Okay? I fucking love it. I love it. It it makes me happy. It's one of the only joys I've received this week. I can't believe Elon was forced to buy Twitter. Like Kanye losing all his money in one day. I don't even want to get into the Kanye stuff, dude. That he is. Boy, oh boy. Some of that is genuine, I think, mental health crap. From what people, from it seems like Kanye has doesn't seem like he's ever been very good, and mental illness is a hell of a fucking thing. But there, I it's really a shame there's not someone in his life that can be like, hey, bud, give me your fucking phone now. Give me your phone right fucking now. You gotta give me your phone. Kanye needs help, but also fuck that guy. That's a really, it's a really hard fucking position to be in, isn't it? I mean, like, when you know there's definitely a mental aspect of this and like a health concern, but also the person that's in that position uh, is also in a position of immense power and is saying incredibly fucked up shit. That's a really complicated thing to like, you know. I'm not gonna get into it more than that. I don't know. It hurts my fucking head to tr mental gymnastics through all that crap. Where is Hearthstone? Uh. <laughs> Fuck you. I hope you get better. <laughs> True. Yeah, I guess that's usually the best approach. Is the f is fuck you, but do get help because I do hope that you get better one day. Good question. Where is Hearthstone? I don't fucking know, man. I Please seek help even if it's Dota or League, anything is better. Huh. If 
think? You think League's better? Why won't you answer? Dude, I, I, I don't know what the... They're not here right now, okay? I don't know. Hearthstone's not fucking here. You've been chatting for half an hour. Shouldn't you change the game to just chatting? You've been following since February 5th, 2020. I know you know better. <laughs> I know, I know. I know that's bait. Now I know that there's bait right there. Yep. Yes, sir. -y. That's huge bait, brother. We, we discussed this, actually, yesterday, in yesterday's VOD, where I also hid from the just chatting audience inside of this game. You can find my reasoning for that there. Hide in the pools category. <laughs> There's got to be some premium categories that we've yet to fucking really hang out in. You know what I mean? There's got to be some good ones out there. Like, maybe, like, uh... Maybe I just change my category to alive. Like, I'm st I'm there, man. I did make it there. I'm alive. To this day, still going. Could change the category to alive. There is a pulse. I could also change the category to dead and like sort of harvest some of that clout. You know what I mean? Harvest some of that good, good, that, that good, good relevance. Some of that clout. How's your voice doing? How high does your voice go? Uh, it's not, it's not as high as it used to be, dude. I can't even go higher than that because of my... Because of my horrible, horrible voice problems. Is COVID a category? I don't have it anymore. I wonder if colorblindness is a category. Because I bet I could, I bet I have that again. Yeah, colorblind is a thing. I can change my whole category to colorblind. It is it is for sure a tag. Yeah, but tags are weak shit. No one knows how to read those. No one knows how to read those things. Time to retake the test. I can't fucking do that again. What if I'm sick again? What if I got the- what if I got the blindness again? What if I got worse? Finally, a streamer who cares about the colorblinds. Every day I turn on my fucking OBS. You know what I do? For all my dootins out there? I, I angle the hue of the color correction on my OBS slightly to the left. Okay, I turn the knob of color correction slightly to the left. And I get rid of some of those reds and some of those greens so that they can watch. So they can have a good time out here. All right. Every time I do that, because I know. I color correct for the people when no one else will. That's not very inclusive to us normal eye havers. The world by design is inclusive to you. Literally. There goes my hero. <laughs> By design, the colors of things appear naturally for you. I don't need to... Everything's cool. Loud minority dude. <laughs> huh. 
Laugh it up. Laugh it up. Alright. You wanna know what's the real fucking thing that still pisses me off to this day? Is having goddamn aphantasia. I still can't even imagine things in my head chat. And that sounds like a crazy person thing to say. Wrong. It's real. Look it up. I literally can't do it. My brain can't imagine things like you can. Like many of you can. And some of you have aphantasia in this chat right now that didn't know it till I brought it up just now. And now you're going to look it up and you're going to realize that you, like me, have been held down. Have, have been literally owned by society for years. I can't see the apple. No! No! A fantoid. <laughs> do you or do you not have a narrator voice in your head? Oh, I have narrator voice in head. What do you, do you? Some of you guys just get like white noise in your head. I. My brain, my thoughts are me thinking things out loud in my brain. Like, I don't know what else to exp- I mean, I don't have someone that's like, uh, Tomato picked up the bottle. Like, I, I don't have- I'm not narrating myself like fucking Stanley Parable, if that's what you're asking. I'm just thinking of the word, like words, I'm thinking to myself, I'm doing things in my brain. Who's your thought narrator voice? It's just my it's just my voice. I don't fucking it's me. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? What do you mean wrong? <laughs> Oh yeah, mine's Rick from Rick and Morty. But I am in the market for picking up a new one. All right, let's let's get on into the game chat. I've honestly I've just been stalling because it takes like an hour from like my body to be like, oh, you're working. Stop feeling sick. I don't know why that's how it how this like nausea, this this like cold nausea that I have has functioned. But like it, I have to like basically sit or sit around for like an hour and just like talk. So my brain just turns off the uncomfortableness. But yeah, I'm gonna go grab a, uh... Actually, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna go bathroom and I'll be right back. Well, and then we're gonna start gaming. I'll be right back.
Tomato's tweet from yesterday was Omega Funny. What? <laughs> what? I've been hacked. I've been hacked by someone fucking funny. Oh wait, no I haven't. Someone was just lying. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold up. Dude, honestly though, really good fucking deal if you get hacked by someone and all they do is make fucking killer viral tweets using your account. Dude, I'd fucking take it. Go on then. Go on then. Continue. If and you would. Nah, I don't tweet anymore. I just like, uh... I, I had my I had a viral tweet and then I was done. And I won't tweet again until I'm allowed to pay eight dollars to get a check mark. All right, because I'm tired of I'm tired of competing with Tomato Fortnite out there, and I know. All right, I know if I got that check mark, then I could change my name to Tomato Fortnite and then catch that check mark and fucking own him. All right, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. I'm saying that's what's gonna happen. I will become him first. Best of luck to you. Okay? Best of luck to ya. Don't forget about the Reddit. Yeah, I can't pay $8 to get verified over there, though. An update. Pass. I forgot about the weird guy in the bottom uh, left. Monkey ball. You can tell by my... <laughs> you can tell by my, like, play. Like, the games I've played. That I've gone through phases of playing games on my Switch with, like, other people. Recently. And then, you could also tell where I had a moment of just, like... Brain leakage. Where I was like, I could... I could totally... I could... I could play Dragon Quest again, I remember. But then I never launched it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Stop asking me for the update. I'm never gonna. Get off my case forever. He played Splatoon 3, I think, once. And then I went into a public game. And I think a, tw like, who was, what was probably a 40 year old man owned me so hard 18,000 times in a row that I straight up logged out and never came back. There's like these, there's two kinds of people in Splatoon. There's people who will, will never uh, stop playing Splatoon for the rest of their life and are like ancient warriors who have like, who have the skill of the last two Splatoon games in their very blood, and they've carried it all to three, and just instantly kill everyone that they meet. And then, there's people like me and children, <laughs> who, uh, who, who aren't that, and just thought that they'd be playing like a Nintendo game online, who weren't ready for the scene that was about to play out in front of them. It would be less brutal and gruesome if it was blood on that fucking battlefield, all right? Because I fucking peer over those, those, those sandbags, like the battlements around me, and I see goddamn, like, like horrible purple paint everywhere, and I start shaking, all right? I'd rather see dead bodies and guts and limbs strewn across the place, because at least then, at least then it would feel like a real war. This shit, it was, I can't go back there, dude. Uh, he fell again. Mario, what's up? It's been some time. Chat, as you can see, this is Mario of the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. He has all the emotions and, you know, likeness of a real character, a beloved IP. Um, just like, he, he, he really, he just wants to be just like his, his video game counterpart of the Mario 
you know, Charles Martinet. He wants to be there. But um, he still got a lot of work to do. He fell asleep while standing up. Sedge, he's expiring. He's... Whoa, man! They said it, not me, man. They fucking said it, not me. All right, how about you calm the fuck down? How about you come down? Well, let's take a look at him. He's two years old. He's two and a half years old. People say he can live until he's four years old before he retires. So he's not done yet. Okay. Win rate. 95.5 fucking percent. He only lost one game. And it was to Victor. Once. Okay. Once. He lost one game. Once. And if you're gonna look back at the last VOD, you do well to note. Okay. That I, I followed through with making sure that that was the only loss. Yeah, he did get murdered by two wild monsters, but those are off the record. It's like you wouldn't count, like, the win-loss record of, like, a professional boxer if they got jumped in an alleyway. And, like, attacked in, like, a fucking, like, actual alley. You wouldn't. No one would do that. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, I, I this, my Mario, professional wrestler, walking down the goddamn street. Professional, no, like, UFC fighter, walking down the, like, a dark alley, and then someone ran out with a bat and, like, shattered his ankles. Like, yeah, that doesn't count as a fucking fight, dude. That's not going on the win-loss, idiot. But yeah, as you can see, B-rank, I actually did forget that. <laughs> Aw, likes Mandarin Juice and Big Load. He likes me. He really is like he 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 really is a good monster. I'll give him that much. All right, he's he's done a very good job. He's only had one rampage, and it's because I pushed him too far. But yeah, needless to say, he's actually like unbelievably cracked stats wise. For the people that don't know this game and missed the last session, this is Monster Rancher. It's Monster Rancher. It's a new Monster Rancher. It came out like a week ago. It's a Monster Rancher game. All the mechanics are there. It's Monster Rancher. Um, he's got melee. He's got an actual boost to melee damage, like point blank attacks. If he hits someone with an attack three times, the power his power boosts even more. He reduces an enemy's accuracy. If my guts is at a certain level in the last 20 seconds, or if their guts is at a certain level in the last 20 seconds, which means it's even harder to hit me in the end. And this thing's fucking busted. Uh, if my life gauge is lower than my opponent's with one second left in the game, the timer stops and I can't be beaten by default. You have to kill me. You have to kill me. The game doesn't end until Mario goes down. Which is one of the most broken fucking traits I've ever heard of. Because that's the hardest, that's like the worst thing about Monster Rancher is when something spams dodges over and over again and just stalls the game. You can't stall me. That's like the best trait, and that's why I need to try to get Mario as deep into this as possible. Okay. Cause I, cause he's, he's the first time I've ever had a creature with anti-stall mechanics. Cause that's what always fucks me in this game is anti-stall. Cause you're just at the mercy of like XCOM levels of RNG. So having the chance to punish that is great. But yeah. We've got some, uh, we got some fucking crazy shit out here. Like we got this insane iron kick move. And we have the Kabuki attack, which has, I think, almost instantly killed every creature we fought. We've got some insane crap. Mario's busted. But Mario also needs a rest, and he's earned what he's earned it, and we're gonna give it to him. How's the game volume and balance, by the way? It's been good. Good, okay. 
still hard for me to visualize it versus the mixer currently, so I'm still getting used to it. All right. All right, Mario. It's time to, time to get back to what we were doing. The fuck was that? Why is there bombs going off? Where the hell's my mouse? Mouse? Chad, I had a mouse at some point here. And now it's gone. I'm as I only want- I only cared about it because I wanted to turn off this scary... ...window on Steam. My game- my Steam window currently on my desktop is a scary horror game. And I'm tired of this demon looking at me. What's up, man? I forgot how disgusting this guy was. Let's just not talk to him anymore. Hey, Bigelode, Mario said they're worried about something. It seems that they've been oversleeping a lot lately. What should they do? You want me to, like, make you a special kaiju alarm clock? He does. How we raise this kaiju from here will decide victory or defeat in the fights ahead. What they're saying is that he's peaked. <laughs> What they're trying to say is this robot is no longer going to be aging. He's at his maximum growth potential right now. He's at the peak of his potential, and if we don't capitalize on this now, he's fucked. Well, we're not ready for B-class official battles. I'll tell you that right fucking now or not. We just got here. He ain't doing this yet. We need another training arc. We need to capitalize his prime potential right now. Because I bet B is going to thrash us. First of all, items. We need to start using more items in general. And buying more items, because we sit on a lot of money. Power. 5,400 power. Yeah, keeping my skill and my power at about the same makes me an unstoppable fucking god if, not, if I don't get hit by some crit. Okay, so here's the thing. We want to go here because Victor will teach us heavy tech moves. And we might get some insane bullshit. I, but I don't want to go here because obviously it's a bad position. So we want to wait until Victor moves to a place that's good for me. And then we're going to have to learn from Victor. So we can get a... So we can get a new move. Learning a new technique isn't going to be easy. All right, we're just gonna take him out training while we stall for Victor's errantry, I think, right now. Take him to drills. Because right now, we want to keep that- we want to keep doing wild woods. Spe his speed at around 2,000 is the best I want, so he's already above what, I, what he needs. We need to keep boosting his life and his power. Get out there! Move the tree. Move the tree. Fucking Jesus Christ. B rank power. And a zesty and pepper. Fortunately, the only thing he eats is oil, but whenever we get him a zesty and pepper, he loves that stuff. He loves zesty and pepper. And it reduces his fatigue and his anger, which is what we like. So we always make him heavy oil with a little bit of spice in it. It's his favorite meal. It's his favorite meal every day. He loves eating that stuff. I got letters. Shall we train? Don't know who you are. Stop. People need to stop sending me letters. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Hang on, is the Aaron tree? Is he in a better spot now? Victor is currently at Fuller Beach, which is even worse than last time for me. Because I don't want to gain int. And I don't want to lose power, I'll tell you what. So we're going to drill for another week. Unless there's like a tournament going on. 
There might be some, there might be like a weird, there's nothing happening this week. Hang on, there's like, so there is someone I need to kill at some point. I don't know where they are. These two fuckers. A tough tournament for Kaiju with high life. <laughs> okay, Mario doesn't have high life, but he can do a lot of damage. So we'll probably just keep banking on that. You know what I mean? We just keep spamming stomp and we'll rest next week and then we'll fight those guys. He's almost at 6,000 power. And he gets a zesty on pepper every time. He's tired of training here. He wants to go to other places. They might skip out on their drills when they're bored of them. Okay, that's fine. We need to do life training anyways. That pisses me the fuck off, though. That does piss me the fuck off, Mario. Mario. What did you just say, Mario? Okay, we rest this week. Wait, no we don't. He's not even tired. Hi, Tim. I guess I can train him in, like, something else. Alright, well, we'll train him in, uh... We'll give him some training in, uh, in life, then. If he's so tired of it. Life, specifically. I'm actually curious. This shouldn't do that much for him, but I'd like to get him up to 1,500 life. It is his wildly his lowest stat. He's glass cannon as fuck right now. 37 is all he gets. That's so low. But he did get a huge radish. He didn't get a big ass radish. Okay, well, we're going to have to go kill those two sisters now. Or try, at least. I'm gonna give him an item though first. I don't want him to get uh, get killed out there. What does this do? What is C pin 929 doing? Is this like a what is this? Can someone explain? You can just tell me what it does. I'm not putting this. I'm not giving my boy this. It's just wait. Well, what about left? What are- I don't know what half these things are. They don't even say what they do. I guess I have to- God damn it. Well, because that's what's gonna- I- I just want- I just want- Look, man. Let's give him some Astro Mint. Reduce his stress a little. I don't want him stressed out going into this. He needs a, he needs a level head. All right. Super Vitality Cup. Last time we fought, like, an actual breeder fight, they had busted ass monsters at the end that were not equivalent to C rank or the rank that they were at at the time. So I'm not feeling super good about this. This could be, oh, this could be bad. This could be the day that Mario fucking dies. Today's an out-of-stadium battle. On the scorching sands of the Barrage Desert. The breeders may have to bow out to avoid the heat, but the heat-loving kaiju are having a blast. The competition is hot, and the contestant's pride is on the line. The Super Vitality Cup is now. Skip, I don't care who you people are. I just need your moves. Hand it over. Hand it over. Let's just get this started. Stop talking to me. Skip. All right, Cosmo. He's gonna fight some guy named Cosmo. Mario! Yes! We just have to kill... How much health could he possibly have? That's not as much as I was thinking he would have. I'll tell you that much. I was expecting more health than that. Power's high, but still... 
Not as high as mine. And his skill is sad. All right. Gonna get some guts. I'll keep him in the int range, because if he does that flame move, that's easy for me. Build up some guts, and then I'll get in there and fucking... Oh! Dodge. Dodged! Kabuki attack! First guy to dodge the Kabuki attack! That's bad news, man! Dodged. Kick to the fucking nose! Headbutt! I hate the head. I actually don't like the headbutt being on my bar. I have 82% on hit with the kick, dude. If I have the... Oh, uh-oh. He's in trouble now. Bah! 82% on the fucking kick to these people, dude. He pushed me. Try headbutt! Ho! Oh! Mario doesn't play. All right, he's in his prime. You better bring your game to this. Or you're gonna die. All right, we're either fighting Big Scissor or Vega. I'm not really sure which, okay, it's Vega's the one that the trainers own. Okay, so this fight's gonna suck eggs. Just so everyone's aware. Cause they're gonna be they're gonna be pumped up with bullshit stats. They're probably gonna be incredibly tanky. Like 500,000 HP. How much are we talking? That's a lot of HP, yeah. Well. Well, better get on in there. That wasn't my kick. I'm gonna stay right in his face on this and build guts. I have 86% chance to hit on the fucking face, dude. I don't know why I wouldn't just keep spamming the attack. I have no reason to build guts for it. Ow! Get back in there. Get back in there. We stay right in his face. Kick him. If we just land this punch, we win. Oh boy. Dodged like it was fucking nothing. Hey, hey idiot. You ever seen the couple get attack? He has. Oh no. Oh wait, time's up. As long as I'm not below them, I win no matter what. Dude, imagine losing. I can beat you by default. You just can't beat me by default. Owned. I mean, we're not gonna gain anything from a trainer with, inf with like high life moves, because they're never gonna want to teach me shit. But uh, yeah, I will happily accept having them teach me moves at a later date with the next guy. I love how the angle for him approaching these fucking tournament wins is, uh, it always looks like Mario did just kick and kill the cameraman every time, like without even noticing. Good shit out there, Mario. You did a good job. Okay, we need to focus on learning a move from Victor. He can't sleep because he hears scary noises. A ghost? Oh no. Oh, we got a lot of... A gift from my boy. Muscle dumbbell. Thanks. He's got to take a rest, dude. He needs a break today. But I will give him an item. Ta 
10 power. Up. Alright, we're gonna hope that we can do something with Victor coming up. Cause we need a we need a big move. We've got a high hit move. Now we need like the kill move. You know what I mean? We need the kill move. Can you only give one item at a time? You can only give one item per week, I think. So I'm trying to be more careful about giving out items. I'm gonna, fuck it, give him the goddamn C-Pin 929. Let's see what it does. It's because you overeat that you're packing on the pounds, Mario NCU. You're getting pretty chonky. Brought up his life. How heavy's Chonky? His weight's normal, you ass! What the fuck is your problem? He was probably underweight before. Victor is still at fucking Fuller Beach for some reason. Does he just not move? Has he not moved at all? Or has it just been every time by poor luck that he's there? Because I don't want to send him to Fuller Beach. That's all the stats I don't care about. I think it's just bad RNG. He's like camping int zones and I need him to not do that. So I can catch, you know, upgrades. Well, we're going back to pumping skill for a while. Because, honestly, we're never going to get high life, I don't think. But we can just keep pumping skill and pumping speed, which are already much higher. I think that's our best bet. Since we already have territory with it. Do it! Hold strong, Mario! Do you just push the wind back? Nice, man. Well, life's back to F. I always get this mochi. I need to start using it. Okay, I swear to God if Victor is still at his shitty beach. I'm gonna be mad. First of all, how do I use this stuff? Eating mochi, eating it would motivate anyone to have a roaring good time. Okay. How does this make you feel? It just lowers his anger. Okay, cool. So where is Victor now? I'm willing to do that here. We need to boost our life anyways. We need to boost our life. Boosting our life and defense is things we want and our skill is high enough. Let's do it. Our skill is definitely high enough. Let's let's get some let's finally get some new moves. All right, he should be able to easily defeat Victor's idiot in every single one of these. Success 35. Back up to E. I'd like to get his life to 2000. I think 2,000 would be good. Success. Okay. Success. Gigantic. I think this will get my defense up to the next level. Super success! Give me new moves. Nice! There it is. There it fucking is. The Iron Punch. Another melee move. C damage on that one.
So I think heavy moves do more damage the heavier your creature is. So we might want to try to make Mario dense. He already has really good moves for closing the gap at back range anyways, because they pull him back into melee. We might want him to be big. Now let me check the move. Can I just remove this? I'm never gonna- that punch is like an accidental thing. Get, get that off of the bar. Yeah, Iron Punch will do more damage. So it's one it's the one we want to use in melee if they get confused while we're fighting them. Okay. Cool. Simultaneously, I also don't want this on my bar ever. So I'll remove that. The Rocket Core Rigid Punch is just a bad move that soaks up way too much guts to be worth it at that range. Take a rest. Chat, we're gonna get like five moves from this guy. We're gonna be instantly ready to do another Aaron Tree, and we have the money for it. We're gonna do like five more with Victor. And catch like uh, every move this guy can learn. Hang on, there's something in the desert. If we kill this, we get skill. Dada Eliking. I don't really need it though. Back to the Aaron Tree. He's still here. I mean, that's g all the stuff we want still. And I can definitely learn a new technique and I've got a billion dollars. Let's just go again, back for life. That, we, we want health boost. I think we've, I think we've reached the curve of like too much power and skill. We need to bring up health to gain much more. Super success. Doesn't Ultraman have 7k in everything? Yeah, we're getting close to the power of Ultraman. Chad, we're getting near the power of Ultraman. New tech, again. Anti-Kaiju bullet. Eh, we don't really like bullets. I mean, it's cool to have a gun move. It, we're gonna keep it on, chat, because we actually do have relatively high end. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of it. The thing is, um, I would only want to use it against a creature with insane defense and low int. That I, like, somehow, wildly enough, can't punch through. That's the only reason to have it. I hope he dies soon. Can we ban Jacko Licko from the chat? Thanks. We gotta send this guy to a fight so we can chill out. He's full of so much anger again. Mario's full of so much fucking rage. He's full of so much fury. He needs to kill someone. But first, let me check where Victor is. Fuck! Do I have the... I wonder if Mario can handle this without having a mental break. Do it! Fuck yeah, Mario. This is gonna power boost him to insane levels. Pump the iron! Six thousand, again, reclaimed. Oh yeah. Pump the iron. Become powerful enough to kill Ultra Man! Week four! Holy shit. New tech learned. Again. Buh. <laughs> Jet crash. A rank damage heavy tech. The God move. 
We'll use this to kill Ultraman. <laughs> we'll use this one to kill Ultraman. We need to kill something. We need to kill something for a villain arc. Isn't Ultraman like a good guy? I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I do not care about that. That means nothing. Wait, why, why would that matter to me? Oh, he's bored of eating Zestium, so he got mad. Well, that's fine. We're sending him on a fight today. They said their whole body hurt. Oh, they had a dream. I'm gonna send, uh, all right, we're gonna go to a tournament and kill someone. Just to get his anger out of his system. I can't do this, right? <laughs> Looks like Mario's come back down from B rank to participate in a D rank fight. <laughs> I'm not sure really why it looks like Toy has dropped out of the match. Come on, Leary. He dropped out. Come on, horn guy. Horn guy. Yo, don't you want that number one slot? He dropped out. This isn't gonna drop my anger. <laughs> I won. Well, we have to pay him. <laughs> I've got skills for that. <laughs> I gain everything. There's no reason to not punch down at lower rank fights then. You did well out there. No fame lost. The people love it. <laughs> the people love watching Mario stomp on bozos. Go rest. You've earned it. Just like how Ultraman punches down. True. True. Was there even any scaling in D rank? No. There's no scaling. I'm just showing up to these fights. I actually lost the territory because I've been doing so many errand trees. I actually can't learn any new tech from Victor because he truly, uh, I've learned everything. So the best thing I can learn now is something from May if I boost my skill more, technically. <laughs> Active rival Dada Avenger in the volcano. No, nah, we're just gonna keep going to the wild woods and uh, pump. We're gonna go pump again. I want to get my territory back. Success: two hundred gains, seven thousand. We're officially as strong as Ultraman. We're as powerful as Ultraman. Official battle week. All right. It's time. I'm gonna give him magic bananas before we go. And then we're going to the B rank fight. Fear increased. I've made him fear the world around him. B class official battle. Well, this might be bad. All right. I'd be careful voting for me on this. This is a test fight. We don't know what this B-rank match is gonna do, chat. Giovanna, I hate Giovanna. Well, there's one thing I need to do. Go. 
Good God, that move is so expensive. Unless I can guarantee a hit, I don't want to use Jet Crash. It's time, Mario. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see the stats. I hate them. Wait a minute! They're just dressed up like me. Oh yeah, we're in the realm of people have stats comparative to me now. So bees wear it, spikes, huh? Okay. You're gonna have to kill me, motherfucker. Kick. Kick. It's gotta land one hit. You fucked up. Dodged it. How high's my hit chance? Not high enough. 47, 39. And, yep, there's the one shot. Oh, I was worried that'd be how it goes. Because, of course, uh, the problem is the curve is now you need to have 5,000 defense or you can't survive. Either 5,000 defense or health or you die. That's, that's Monster Rancher curve. We'll see how the other ones go. I want to see how I want to see if he was the strong one of the fight. He might have been. No, they're all pretty strong. I just need to boost his health or his defense, one or the other. Yeah, that wasn't as bad. I just need a way to start with more guts. Or, like, have a move that has a higher chance to- Oh, he's doing the rocket move! That was my move! He's using lock-on to reduce my, uh, put my intelligence. Okay, so it looks like that guy definitely was a luckier hit. The first guy. I mean, I might still play somewhere. No, nope. Rodney beat Giovanna. I'm wondering where the wall is where I drop out. It was Rodney. I missed my window to drop out. It should have been Rodney. I need some way to crit him, dude. That's what it fucking is. Super plasma bullet. I don't know if I want to get hit by the super fucking plasma bullet, man. Let's just stay way out of range. Yeah, it's the plasma bullet. Dodge it. Please, dodge. That did not instantly kill me, though. I just need more defense. Yeah. He's doing it again. Do dodge it. It's 48% chance to dodge. You did not. All right, we're dropping out of the rest of this. Now I know what I need to train. Uh, which is defense and health. I do not- I do not need more power. I need more defense and health. That's it. Yeah, I'm not fighting this weird fucking red guy. Nope. I guess I just don't gain stats if I drop out, which is kind of bullshit. I get none. Oh well. We know we have to train now. I will become incredibly powerful now that I know the truth. Now we just give him basic rich oil. Okay, we need to get defense and life both to 5,000. It's his third birthday. He has one year to become a B, like an A-rank character before he has to retire. He's gonna fucking die. He died right on the spot! 
Oh, wait, he's probably okay. Hmm. Power and defense. God damn it. I think we just go train. But we need to rest either way. I get rid of some of that stress, man. It's gonna kill you. Play with this ball. Chill out. An anonymous gifter. Thanks for gifting 20 subs to the channel. Thank you very much, anonymous gifter. Very kind, very kind. Jesus, you're so rich. I know, it's great for Aaron Trees. Dude, my next monster is going to be a fucking god. All right, let's be honest. Yeah, Mario's good right now. Next dude is gonna be seriously spoiled with Aaron Trees, man. They are going to ascend. <laughs> I've got so much fucking money. The son of Mario will be a powerful warrior. Okay. Fatigue back up. It's time. It's time, Mario. You got you got only a couple more months before you're retired. Galactic health tea. Doesn't he not like galactic health? No, it was it was Jerry that didn't like galactic health tea. Does my help his health? No, it just did it, but it did. Lowers weight. What is his weight anyways? It's still normal. I want to keep it at normal. Well, we keep watering plants. We water plants. We water plants. We water plants, and we water plants. And we water plants. And we water plants. And we water plants. You're a sprinkler now, Mario. You water plants now. That's what you do, and then you'll retire. Isn't that exciting? Ain't that, ain't that uh, just the life, Mario? Last spring of his life. Well, summer now. Back in that fucking field! Why do they live such short lives? Because basically every moment of their life is combat and war. Because that's the life I chose for them. Okay. It's because I make them fight in cage matches for my entertainment. No, no garden errantry. And we keep drilling. We keep drilling. Get that huge shotgun ready, tomato. You guys are fucked. What's your problem anyways? You guys are fucking assholes. Yeah, check the air entries. There it is. We paid for that. I may also want to have Mario participate in some tournaments just to make us some money before he retires. 
Pump that life. Succeed on everything. Pump that life. Pump that life. Get it up there. We may even somehow receive a new move from this. It'd be low chance, but we're almost at 3,000 life now. New tech! Thought we had that. I'm sorry. Did you just teach me the same move I already learned? From Victor? Or is it different jet attack? <laughs> Is it the same jet attack, or is it a different attack with the name jet in it? Who the fuck is this guy? Carbino? Who? He's exploring the Ultra Valley. This sounds like a... That sounds like the name of a destination somewhere in one of the newer Pokemon games that, like, I will immediately forget and never care about, and then people will get outraged about, uh... Like, I don't, I don't know, that sounds like- that sounds like a Pokemon destination more than it does anything else. While Kaiju have settled in the area as of late- Oh, are we like actually in the adventure section now? Okay, we finally have the adventure zones! Adventures let you go out and explore Ultra Valley with your Kaiju. There's a variety of items to find, including some that you won't find anywhere else. Cool. So quietly chat, your kaiju is kind of gimped until you have access to everything in the game. So your first two kaijus, no matter what, will fucking suck because you won't have access to everything in the game. Mario was doomed to fail. Just for the record. Took a, it took seven hours of playing to unlock the adventure zone. Seven hours! Seven! Not like two, seven! Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Eat your favorite heavy oil. Wait, hang on. Put some zestium pepper in it. Enjoy. Scripted death in Adventure Zone, by the way. What the fuck you just say to me? <laughs> what the fuck you just say to me? <laughs> we'll send Michael there, alright? We'll grab Michael. For that one. I'm not sending Mario to the Adventure Zone. Oh cool, he found me candy. We'll send Ned to that. Ned's- Ned's- Ned can- Ned will do that! We'll pull Ned out of retirement to do that. Damn it. He's so- he's too mad. I need to have him kill someone. But there's no tournaments happening this week. I literally can't do anything until Mario can fight. He won't- he won't do anything until he can fight. He's full of too much fury. He could totally do one thing wrong. Last time I saw that anger that high, he couldn't do one thing. He could do no things. I'll give him a cake today and then I'm sending him to an air tree. Enjoy. That's not even that much. He fell asleep for a month last time. You really can't afford to be falling asleep for a month, you know what I mean? He just can't afford that right now. This is an important time for him. I'm sending him back to this errand tree. We're trying to... I'm trying to... That's exactly what I was looking for. You see, I couldn't have done it if I hadn't done exactly what I did. We're sending him back here to gain more health. Success. Now build that fucking HP. It's the only way we beat that fucker that killed us last time. Alright, 31 is pretty good. I think 30, I think realistically that's as high as we're getting. For health and defense. 
When's Mario's fucking birthday? Okay, he's got he's got eight more months to live. <laughs> Take a rest. He's got eight months. Did he not rest? Are you kidding me? You can't be fucking this up right now, Mario! No what? Yeah, he's gonna have to fucking retire. He's not sleeping at night. But fuck to sleep, man. Mario's old yeller arc incoming. <laughs> Mario, we need to make money. We need money for your next of kin. <laughs> Come along. Is there anti-anger food you can make? You can spam them on it. No, but I can send them to kill people at the Bellow Commemorative, which will also help his anger. What's up, Lightning Flash? Big mistake not dropping out. Let's see how this one plays. Are you fucking sure? So, uh, what made you think this was a good fucking call? Bozo. Oh yeah, back it up. I got actually confused. He's summoning commander? Who's the command? I jet crashed. The fuck do you think you're doing? Pay attention to the fight. Four point five K damage. I know one thing about glass cannon builds chat. They're fun until you miss every hit. <laughs> That's why I don't like using that move. Their family was in the audience? Well then at least they know quickly what happened to their son. At least there's not gonna they're not gonna get a call about it. They got to see it firsthand, they know. Come here, bashful oh! Fuck you out of here. Drop out. <laughs> drop, big scissor, drop out. Drop out or tell me who I should send the letter to to tell you're fucking dead. Drop out. All right, crab man. He's got the health. Maybe he's confident because of that. Get away from me. Get away from me. Let's do jet attack. Which looks the same as the other jet attack, but I guess that one has like a higher hit chance. Wow, embarrassing. Alright. He had a concussion. Mario can't be stopped. The only thing that can stop him is old age. <laughs> the only thing that can stop him is retirement. But we do it for the money, right now. Cause that's like... And I mean the stat gain is good too, all things considered. And B class, apparently. SHUT UP! <laughs> SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! Just so tired of this. Praise. I'm a, God damn it! <laughs> Forever C class. Yeah, well, we've still got time. He's got till April. He's still got a little bit more fight in him. He's still got a little bit more fight in him. He's so tired. He's fine.
Melba Gamora. He's a B rank, like me. But if I kill him, I get a ton of defense, and I'd regain my territory. I'm not fucking scared of you. So yeah, we do- we can 50-50 fight B ranks. And we're technically stronger than we were last time we fought them. Yeah, this isn't that bad. The spread is not that bad. If he hits me, he'll break me in half, but... I've got enough defense to take it. He actually dodged an 80% chance to hit? Are you fucking kidding me? Unfucking believable Dodge that one, though. Now his guts is fucked. Dodged it. Oh, he's... F now he's fucked. He's gonna have to crit me. I got him with two more of these. Dodge. No, I did not dodge it. Grab that. If I hit him with this, I win. Fuck! I'm so tired of this! I dodged. Dodge it again. Hold for this, hold for this. We got it. Headbutt never hits. It never fucking does, but it's the cheapest move I have. And it would guarantee a kill. Yeah, B's like, just so tooth and nail. I think it's because Mario's just reached the end of his line. He's, re he's reaching the end of the line, like he's reaching a point where... Maybe the best bet for me is just pump power so hard that... Because, chat, it's a, it's a guts problem right now. I don't have the energy in a fight to survive a couple of hits. But I do have enough guts at the start to guarantee, with the same level of skill I have, a full to zero kill if my power's high enough with those kicks. So maybe I just spend the next, like, four months just pumping power and skill. And make sure that I kill someone in two moves. Because I don't think we're getting our life any higher. Or our defense. But also, the hit chance wasn't that good before. It was like 60%. Almost makes you think I need to pump skill again. But, I mean, like, that's... Just such a fucking waste. skill again. It's just we want to be doing stuff that's in my territory. Let me see what errant trees there are. Because those still are the best gain. Support tech. Pass. Or we go here with Colt and maybe learn a crit tech and end the game by instantly killing everyone in one hit. It- here's the thing, chat. It's too late to pivot to strategy. What's the best investment for us is to go deep into the things that we are already highly invested in. Which is power, and, like, a little bit of skill and defense. It's too late to pivot Mario other places. He's down to his, like, last six months. That's lowering your skill. I know, chap. You can get back 200 skill in, like, one fucking drill. I'm not... Chat, the thing is, our skill... It still works off of, the, like, the D... Like, the ranking system, all right? It's not gonna go back down to D rank doing this. 
And the hit chance on those things is already really high. I'm gonna trust my gut on this because Mario is not gonna make it past B rank, but at least I can at least try to push him. I forgot he's got this giant fucking mochi. I forgot this is his guy. Success. Plus this will get his defense. Power up, defense up. If I can somehow manage to get to 4,000 defense, that'd be fucking huge as well. He didn't even lose that much skill. He lost like 20. New tech. Holy shit. Tell me he learned that drop kick. Drop kick. <laughs> Oh my god, Mr. Carbino, shut the fuck up and get out of here. I'm not sending my guy out there now that some chat member came in and was like, scripted death and adventures in. I just won't fucking do it. I'm not taking the chance. That might have been a it might have been a trick. I don't know. Can't take that chance. Not in this important time. One guy? It's all it takes is to be one guy. Very good. We gotta pump skill back up. He's gotta be able to land that drop kick. <laughs> Alright, skills to focus. I want to get it back to 5,000. Yeah, Tomato, didn't you know if you press a single more bu menu button, your game turns off and your PC explodes? My switch isn't connected to my PC, fool. That's how I know you're lying. That's how I know you're lying. Idiot. Oh, I actually need to check what slot that move is in. Okay, we're never gonna use this, frankly. And... God, it's just, I wish I had more guts, that's all. If my guts was higher, by God, we'd be unstoppable. Not emulating this and running it at 60 FPS, question mark, question mark, Krungo. I'm so tired of our- it's raining every day and somehow our guy can get a cold. Let's see, Fuller Port Commemorative, held in commemoration of opening a Fuller Port who shall be blessed by the refreshing sea breeze. Not fucking me, I'll tell you what. Get back to training. November. We don't have much more time until until Mario fucking dies. We haven't told him yet. No one's told him he's dying. No one's told Mario he's fucking dying. We just keep telling him he's okay. He's just a little bit of rust. It's fine. And what tournament's open today? I might send him somewhere, just get rid of some anger. Technically, I don't have the trophy for this. <laughs> I need to get rid of some of that anger, or he's never gonna train. And I need to see how that drop kick works. This is sick. <laughs> All right, Mach 1. I'm about to show you what a Mach 1 dropkick looks like, motherfucker. Ball! He dodged it! 
They're booing me! Wow, Jerry never learned that move. The fuck? Dropkick. Didn't dodge that one, motherfucker. Jerry was an inferior specimen. No, the problem is Jerry was set up to fail from the start, much like, much like I might add, Mario is. Chat. Mario didn't get any of his good moves until literally the end of his lifespan because Victor fucked off for two years straight. Okay, so Mario was also set up to fail. It's the next monster that's going to be the one that actually has a fucking chance out there. All right, I machine. Like, both of these first two guys had to play setup. They had to crawl so that the third creature I get can run. And I'll never forget that. The sacrifice they made. Drop kick. Nice dodge. You know what no one's ever expecting. The second one. Get the fuck out of my face. Right in the eye? It's the only thing to get. It's the only place to life. Dro thrombo. Drop out. Bud. Drop out. Now, why won't he drop out? Tomato is just describing society, mocking his great-great-grandpap. You only got to live half of what he can. Dude, get born later next time. I don't know what to fucking say. LOL. But a whole load of not my problem. Because I also didn't ask to be born right now, okay? Like, I just, I just fucking no-scoped it, man. Imagine <laughs> describing your fucking, your existence as you no-scoped it. Holy shit, that's some cringe Zoomer crap right there, bro. Dude, I just no-scoped it, dude. And as, as I'm sure, if society still exists in 200 years, perhaps the people of the future will be like, man, what a fucking idiot. 3.7k crit? It's not actually that much. The Kabuki attack crits harder. But I guess it's just, the fact is that the chance of critting is higher with this. A Savenger chip. That's what my character is. I might be able to use this later. Tomato just destroyed Throbulator right there. Is that the real fucking name of the Ultraman character? Because I know the, a lot of these creatures are based off of Ultraman. Was that thing's real name in the in the show, Throbulator? I hope not. It can't be Throbulator. That's canon. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like the best name ever. Thrungulus. No, that is that is real. Why? Dude, he just doesn't get it. He's always tired now. December. <laughs> Only a couple more months. Eat this. He's gonna stop eating soon. This old donkey sounded robot's reaching his last legs. Looks like it's almost the end of the line. His last wahoo. Bro. I have to time this right. I gotta make sure when I gotta make sure by April so many letters. Why the fuck would I read them? They're just congratulations for winning tournaments that I was way over prepared for. I need to see the schedule. The last chance for him to have an official battle 
is the last week of March. And if he whiffs it, that's it. We have three months to prepare him for his final battle. Power Cup is definitely for him. If he wins, he gets a power capsule. Deluxe. He's gonna lose, though. He's gonna get owned. So he'll get anger out of his system. Let's do it. We're here for those drugs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're trying to get that, we're trying to make sure that Mario gets some serious steroids going into his final days. It's more likely to die of like a fucking, well, I don't know. I don't know what ha like maybe like a horrible aneurysm or something than like dying out there in the field now. He's all full of drugs. It's just a heart attack. Well, 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 October. Now let me just see his stats. Dude's got- Bert, it's called the Power Cup, not the fucking, like, Nerd Cup. It's got fucking 6k int. I hate this guy. I actually hate him. I'm mad, I'm mad. No, because he counters me. Int guys are my enemy. But he doesn't have much life or defense. Get the fuck over here. He actually dodged it. Only way I win is if I survive long enough to somehow kill him. Get enough guts back. I'm gonna stay close because this is a poison attack. Dash in. He shouldn't be able to kill me with this, but he's gonna drain my fucking guts. Cool, man. He's just drink, he's just taking my guts, because that's fun. He can just do that. Nice, man. What, did he heal? Get the fuck out of here. I like it when they do long moves that uh, let me charge up guts. And if they don't take away my guts with their long move... Uh, they just give me a free kick to the face as soon as they're done. Nice int build. Fucking idiot. Yo, look at Peaky, though. I don't like Peaky. I hate Peaky. Okay, Mecha Crab one. Sorry, Tomato, but I hope you lose. Well, good news is, Mecha Crab's probably gonna kill me, so... <laughs> good news is, looking at it here, uh, Mecha Crab's probably gonna beat me. Looks like he's dropping a block of ice on me, but I dodged it. Jet Crash! Ball! You think I'm playing? Or drop fucking rock of ice on me? Fuck you! Push me out in the range when I have guts and then miss an attack. Big fucking mistake. Want those drugs. <laughs> Peaky has lost every fight. If I lose to Peaky, I'm not gonna be good, dude. I'm not gonna be good. Peaky's just skilled. That's it. He's got good hit chance. Really good hit chance, holy shit. Okay, this is a race to kill him fight. Goodbye, Peaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't make an RNG build. And that's why you don't make an RNG build. 
You don't want to do dodge builds. <laughs> Welcome to Dick Kick City. We won, dude. Doubters are in serious shambles right now. Power capsule obtained. Huge debt. A rank power. His fame rises. People really thought he was out for the count. But Mario of the NCU? Is officially stronger than Ultraman. You're doing fucking good out there, Mario. End of the goddamn line, though. We only have three more months before we can... Before you can finally take it easy. Bro. Nope! <laughs> not... Not for an int bonus. See you later, freak. Take this power capsule. Raises power and defense, but lowers life. Use it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Dead in a month. <laughs> Chad, he's gonna be fine! Is there a good reason to roid up a near-dead kaiju? Dude. So he can become the greatest ever. There's an official battle this week. So we have two more chances to win and leave B rank. I think we should use both chances because this could be RNG is the reason we lose on the last one. So I think we have to take the chances doing it twice. I think we have to. I don't think we can just skip it. So hang on. A second here. You could still just die in one fucking hit is the problem. But um I'll go to the shop quick. I might try to do something that makes him angrier. I think if we make him furious, save scum. Yeah, I'm gonna save scum. I don't wanna save scum. Grandma, stop talking to us. Holy shit. No, I'm not gonna do it. It's not even that much in the grand scheme anymore, you know? But it is cool to know that we can. What I will buy, though, is this, because I didn't know I could buy an upgrade to my fucking ranch. So I can actually have some space, and I won't have to use every item every 10 seconds. So you're telling me, Granny, that you sell steroids in your bar? In your tavern? This, sorry, convenience store? You sell steroids. This is banned in multiple countries. Let's just go. It's just multivitamins. Bet your ass. All right, chat. The next character I have is gonna take some fucking drugs. All right. They're gonna be ingesting many drugs. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. It's them again. 
They look tired and dying even here. Wait, they're dead. They're literally zero fatigue. Why are they here? Why are they fighting here? I'm waiting for Gamba to go up, but I don't know if they're- I don't know if there's something up. If there's something wrong. Or if Katie's currently frantically typing it. Why are they here? <laughs> but why is Giovanna participating in the match? Fear of breeder is easier to raise. They fear they're scared of their own. I kind of fucking feel bad. Okay, that sucks. That's probably what happened last time. Okay, that fucking double sucks. I like that I can actually go into their entire thing. Okay. Oh, we gotta kill them. They're as old as I am. It's two old men fighting. We know how we win. It's two kicks to the face. But I'm stronger than I was last time. He has a 100% chance to hit some of his crap. That's how we fucking win! Alright, get the fuck out of here, old man! That's how we win every fight right now, is we double kick immediately and hope that uh, the odds are on our side. Before they have the chance to fight back. Oh, Peaky's here. Good shit. Peaky's fucking awful. That's a free kill. <laughs> Everyone owns Peaky. All right, Bright Eyes, you're next. We hate Peaky. Everyone hates Peaky. Okay, this guy's well-rounded. Same deals. Uh, same deals before. Kick. Fucking really. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face! I'm not here to make friends. Okay, I'm here to win. Alright? Because this is Mario's last fucking tournament. And if he wins it, we're retiring him on the spot. Alright, because he will have earned it. I fear no sentient electric razor, okay? I fear no crab. Someone lost to Peaky? All this person has is insane speed and therefore is impossible to hit. And this is gonna be the fight where I lose because I can't fucking make contact. Yep, that's gonna be the fight. RNG fight. Did he just raise his fucking dodge chance even higher? I did zero damage, but he drained my guts. He's a stall fighter. You know that you have to kill me to finish the fight, asshole. Love it, dude. This guy sucks. I can't do anything because I have to hit him. Get fucking absolutely slaughtered. Gotta keep a cool head. Kraken Pokemon Stress! <laughs> All we gotta do now is kill Peaky and Voltage. Peaky has won two fights somehow.
All right, Peaky. Remember, Peaky just has skill. I'm pretty sure we spam kicks on him. Bye. Yeah, cr I critted you. All right, get over it. Who loses to Peaky? All we gotta do now is take Voltage down. He's won a lot of fights. Voltage has won a lot of fights, but he lost to Peaky. <laughs> Bro, he did lose to Peaky. Okay. He's also a power fighter. God damn it, this is gonna be a this is going to be a fucking absolute just who hits harder and faster. Why does he start with 80 guts, man? Wow, he's ridiculously tanky. But I dodged his first hit. Okay, I've got both of my damage boosts now. I'm still dodging. Dodged again! Mario wants this to be his last fight! Jet attack! And that's how you fucking become an A-rank fighter. All right, in the last week of your life before retirement. The champ. That's how you do it. Someone call an ambulance for Peaky, he's dead. There he is, that's him! He's number one! To think, the real thing that pushed him over the edge and won him this trophy was actually giving him drugs. Good shit out there, Mario. Everyone knows his name. Wahoo. Drugs are cool. Well, Mario. It's time to retire. Here's some oil, your favorite. And some delicious spiced meat. Some, I guess, sp just spices. Can't really, actually, you don't even really want this probably. I'm just not gonna give it to you. Enjoy some oil, your favorite. Got a letter. Fifth rank. We're already halfway to master rank. What the fuck you just say? There's only another two ranks in the entire game for tournaments. What did you just say, Holly? What do you mean halfway? Don't you mean mostly all the way? S plus 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 ranking. No. 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 God, I really need to read these letters. Anyways. <laughs> he tripped. Ha ha ha. 
I have a discount today. Okay. It's a good thing I've saved a ton of money. Granny, are you sure about this? I'm fucking rich. Wait. How much were these capsules before? Normal price, 300000 Wow. I feel like I buy, like... Here's the thing. I want my next character to be an int character, to be honest. I think I might buy, like, four shallots. Because int speed's pretty good. I want a guy... I want to use guns. I buy like four shallots. Got so much money. Also gonna buy. Some Astro Mint. Well, we don't want to buy a bunch because it will sit in our inventory box actually. So we don't want to buy anything too crazy, because it will just end up hogging up space. Buy him a mandarin juice. It is his favorite. Delicious mandarin juice. All it did was kind of kill him. Yeah, that's why well, I've never given it to him. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna keep drilling him because he's not. Let's be honest, chat. Mario is not going to be able to do A rank battles. It's time to retire him, I think. I think it's time, uh, time to send him, send him to the city. Let him pass on in peace. He's not gonna die, he's just gonna retire. Make him kill Ultraman. You guys sometimes act like real psychos, you know that? I'm gonna deposit him and I'm gonna save. We're gonna put him in, he's got, he's in good company. He's got Y Jerry, Michael, Exlodia, Bazingus, who looks just like Barney from The Simpsons, and Ned. Goodbye, Mario. Salutes. You did a damn good job. You earned a break. And if I put you in here, you'll never die. Now I'm gonna go to the research center. Well, actually, first I'm gonna save my game. Then I'm gonna go to the research center and totally walk back the exact thing I said. And rather than let him rest, I'm gonna forcefully fuse him with another creature in a genetic slurry. And just kind of see what gets spat out of there. Wide Jerry. Not sure about this combination. You don't know anything about anything. What about Michael? That's a poor compatibility. I can't recommend this. This game doesn't even, this game never really does a good job of explaining what fusions even really do. Like to this day, I think it's one of the worst things about Monster Rancher is that it's like, it really never explains to you. Except this girl just constantly going, I don't know about that one. Over and over again. Explain then. You gotta look up a guide for it. There are not any guides for this fucking one, dude. I'll tell you what. But that's okay. I actually wanted to go to go to the altar. It's time to summon some more boys. Now, what do we summon? Keep 
keywords tomato fortnite i'm not doing that you can't put cum spoon in chat cum is immediately blocked on nintendo For some reason. Unless it's the word Cummings. Hmm. Applebee's. I don't want Applebee's. Applebee sucks. Come to Jesus. What? Name? Maybe. Come to. Oops. Jesus. You spelt come wrong. I know. I know it. Shut up. Arise, Jesus. Arise. Nope. Don't like it. Hate Dada. No one likes Dada. Get them get the fuck out of here. You guys are always doing like meme ones. You always want memes. Well, I'll give you a fucking meme. Okay, I'll give you a fucking meme then. Let's fucking go hyper meme then. Lick my balls. <laughs> what? Balls. <laughs> nice fucking try, Nintendo. Ship it. Ship it. So fucking fun. So fucking fun. So fucking funny. Arise! Lick my balls! Arise! What the fuck? It's Dada Nova! I don't know what to say about that face, but I'll probably see it in my nightmares tonight. Holly, shut the fuck up. That's my son. <laughs> shut your mouth right now. <laughs> Never mind. What if, you see, but the thing is, Ligma did provide us with an interesting, like, situation. I kinda, the li- Hang on, Ligma. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What if we just escalate, what if we just try, like, different things around Ligma until we get something fun? Lig Ligma, Ligma nuts? <laughs> Lig Ligma nuts. Ligma nuts, arise! It'd be better than the last one. Arise! All right! Oh! Buh. It's Mochi! Holy shit. That's an adorable little creature. Holy shit! Buh. Quick, quick. 
7,500 base stat? That's my son right there. I really wish his name wasn't Ligma. God damn it. Hmm. Ligm. It's gotta be something powerful sounding. Ligmochi, that's too, that's so easy. Ligmus. Ligmundo. Ligmundo! Ligmundo! El Ligmund! El Ligmundo! <laughs> yes! You can't really do like a good L. Maybe if I. El Ligmundo! That's him. That's him. That's my son. El Ligmundo. <coughs> take him to the ranch. First, let's take a look at your stats. The personality, naughty. <laughs> Weight, normal. Style, even. Or right, he's not, he's not quick to anger. That's good. I don't have to worry about him. Keep him always in the training grounds. Okay, he's got a bullet move. He likes biscuits, galactic health tea, dislikes ice blocks. Let's get him a cookie. Wait a minute, hang on. Is this an elemental move? Shoot a barrage of pink light bullets from your mouth. It does fire. C damage, C skill. That's pretty good damage. Hang on. I have cookies. Already. Let me see the ones I have, because I think I actually have one for that. Boost critical chance for fire attacks. Well, I mean... Make this guy shoot guns? You guys are always asking about the fusion thing, but to my knowledge, it seems like fusion doesn't always mean you're gonna get something of equivalent starting stats. And this guy has insane starting stats. Like a huge lead. I'm not gonna fuse him into something else and have it spit out shit. Save then fuse. There's nothing more unfun to me in Monster Rancher than playing the fusion game. The looking for monsters game is fun, chat, but you guys are always like, do the fusion! And it's the most wildly unfun thing because it always spits out the same boring crap. So no, I'm not going to. Stop asking. I think I kind of want to do... You know what? Let's, let's fish for a couple more cookies first. We got a lot of money. Let's do some... Let's do some memory board cookies and see if we get anything that's like crazy because we might get like something that... Like that's... That's a cool one. But we've also simultaneously gotten cookies that I would say are like meta tier shit might be in our best interest to uh you know look for some good stuff I just have to pull out my credit card all right what do we got here gotta pay to win this Boost int if your opponent's life gauge is higher than yours in the final 20 seconds. That's huge, too. But don't give it yet. We're just gonna, like, cook, like, five cookies and just see what we get out of it. I don't want to commit too much to wizard build when he's even, which I think means most of his stats are going to be blue and red. I want to commit too hard. Is streamer paying money? Yes. Whoa. Oh. 
It was like silver. I thought it was really good. Well, the stat gain's okay. Boost skill only during territory battles. No one gives a fuck about territory battles. Only. Yeah, fuck that. That skill's not that good. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks per cookie. Wait, what? Yeah. That was about 100 bucks per cookie. Inflict guts damage on opponent twice in a row to lower move speed. Nah. Not good. Pass. Next cookie. Happy birthday, tomato. Thanks. It is my birthday. Golden Legendary. Electric Tech Boost. Mm, nope. Can you overwrite cookies? Try to find, like, give my monster something. Can I give him something else if I want it later? Or is it permanent and he's fucked once he's eaten a cookie? Permanent. Yikes. Weight is easier to gain. The hell out of here, Jerry. Worst fucking one in the whole game, Jerry's starter one is awful. Like, actually awful. This is like, this, this is addicting, dude. Do we just, this was really good. Chat and the bullet thing is really cheap. I think that might end up being it. It's good to have another. It's good to have that in storage because if I don't use it on this guy, aren't you going in though? I'm not committing to anything because again, he's an even build. So committing to something when I don't know all his moves and what he has available is a waste of my time. right now. Take guts damage twice in a row to lower opponent's guts and recover your own guts. This feels like something to take at like my last cookie when we're entering B rank. No, 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 Chad, that's not bad. I don't know if you saw what happened to Mario at the end of the game, but he almost got locked out of the last fight and lost the tournament because someone just drained his guts over and over again. Like, guts damage does fucking suck. So having a way to counter it will be good later. Let's keep going. Let's go up to like 15 cookies. Go up to like 15. So we keep seeing like new stuff. $1,500. Reduce opponent's speed if Guts is above a certain level in the final 30 seconds. I might literally take that. Because my Guts is quick. If I can reduce his, like, an opponent's chance to dodge my attacks, that's ridiculously good. Speed is dodge, yeah. So having the chance to like save up all of my damage if someone's dodging a bunch. 30 seconds is a while too. Yeah, that's 30 seconds is half the fight. I'm doing it. It's just a baby. Now that'll be good in every fight. That's not me committing to a certain build. That's good in every single fight. All right, Eligmundo. Welcome to the world. He's a fucking, he's a New Year's baby. Born fresh on year six, week one. So what kind of stats you got? He's perfectly even. 
High speed, high skill. Whoa! Easy there! Takes eat some shallots. Lowers defense boost, int, and speed. We want that. He should eat Kanezo. He really fucking should. Okay, so he can't learn anything. Wait, no, he totally can. I mean, we send him to Errantry's right fucking away. Okay, we need to start learning what kind of moves he has. So if he can learn a hit tech right away, let we send him to Fuller Beach. Start boosting some stats, because we don't know if he's going to be an int boy or not yet. So sending him into an int thing is okay right now. You have no idea what he, what kind of potential he has. So we're just going to start sending him. Super success! A huge omen for the future! He's so glowy. He's like actually blooming out of the map. He's a genius! Skill up already. Hip attack, high skill. I mean, he's definitely gonna be a skill fighter. I think everyone knows that. All of his stuff is really low guts. Feels like what we might wanna do is like focus on skill. And just like spam attacks on people. But we do need to raise everything a little bit to keep move learning moves. He's gonna be a spam build. This game has no monster combat animations, I see. I've been skipping them all because watching the same animation a hundred thousand times is wildly boring. What do you like anyways, Mochi? All of his gut stuff is so cheap. All of his moves are so cheap. He likes kaiju biscuits and warm stuff. Well, then I guess we give him ultra meat. You like- can you eat meat? Eligmundo? He likes it. Yeah, we might want to get withering moves, but- Whoa! Who the fuck? HELP! Who is that? He's a Kaiju Battle Hall of Famer. He's a champion of countless upper class tournament wins. I don't care who you are. An S class warrior. Don't remember asking. I'll be, I, I'll see you at S class. Don't worry, don't worry about him, El Ligmundo. Don't you let him get in your head. You got a lot of time to be the best. Take a nap. Oh, he's fucking cute. It's too bad I gotta teach him how to kill. Too bad I have to make him kill people. Do we have any more errand trees that we can instantly use to level up our stats more? Learning a new technique isn't going to be easy. But we do want stuff that gives withering. That's exactly what we were talking about. So we're going to need to boost int up to, I think, 1500 for it. Uh, and they teach... They like health, which is just never something I like. I think 1500 is kind of the bar for all of it, if we're going to learn stats. Well, no, because his is also... Mm. Okay, for now we want to get int up to 1500, I think. I think that'll push us over. Yep, I guess we hang out at Fuller Beach for now. 
Yo, he takes so little anger. This guy might actually end up being a champ. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. That was our first time seeing that. Sorry. I'll show it next time. He gets so angry. He gets so... There's so little anger within him. That perhaps he will be the best. The greatest. He's not ready for a cup, right? You know, we might as well know what he can do. Let's send him. We might as well know what he can do. He started really strong. He's already started up. We're sending him. We're sending... We're sending El Ligmundo in. He has to fight Mechanic. The Ultra Club. He hates the cold, though. Well, that's hopefully going to make him angry for once. I'm not going to start the fight until that timer is done. Okay. So this tells me that El Ligmundo did start with much higher stats than a normal monster. By quite a bit. Man, imagine doubting <laughs> on a day like today. Mochi bullet. I'm confused. Anyways, mochi bullet. The chosen one. The chosen one. It's him. Drop out. Drop out, Chili. Drop the fuck out. Interest obtained. What are you saying that like you weren't interested in like El Ligmundo before you didn't believe in him? Confused. Confused. And he's minute now. Slap. Dodged. Fucking luck. Slap. Alright, that move's a nothing move. Mochi bullet is definitely our highest damage. Try the headbutt. Headbutt also good. Mochi bullet's definitely better though. Mochi Bolt is definitely the best move. And it's cheap as shit, too. Well, let's test out the new move we got, too. Yeah, they don't really do much damage. Okay, so Mochi, Mochi Bolt is insane. Everything else is average. For this level. That's okay. Stop dodging. He hit El Ligmundo! Someone kill that guy! Someone murder him! M make him regret ever being born! He's lucky the bell saved him. All right, Baru Baru, get ready to catch that. Man, when we lose that confusion, when Mochi starts loving me and starts respecting my orders, by God, we'll be unstoppable. But yeah, considering how much damage Mochi Bullet already does, I think we stack int, dude. I think we stack int fucking hard. For now. Because that's a shit ton of damage for 18 fucking guts. That's insane. And we have that fire cookie for later. Yeah, I didn't want to commit to the fire cookie. If I, like, find out later that I don't have that many other fire moves, it might be something where I decide against it is the thing, which is why I didn't want to do it early. <laughs> Eligmondo wins!
fame, already up 16. The chosen one. And we praise him now. We want him to depend on us, so he'll listen to my orders. He's never gonna fear us because he doesn't even get angry. So instead, we just want to treat him really well. Hey man, you want to eat another uh, shallot? Eat another shallot. Keep boosting that in. I know the defense is low, we're gonna boost that separately, but it's very big right now to give him the shallots. He's deliberately bought all those shallots for him. So we're gonna use them. He's so big. Such a fucking freak. It's my favorite. Alright, Alegmundo. Here's some ultra meat. He loves it! Any good air entries? New technique's not easy yet. Neither with crit. Hmm. This would boost my two really low stats if I did this. But I think right now... We want to focus on the classics. Drills. Alright. So they're back fishing. His anger is so hard to raise. Why is he glowing? Bloom. Ah! My eyes! Eligmundo is the warrior of light! He failed. I've never seen a failure on a drill. Get scolded. Mario never failed. All right, we're gonna kill this guy. We're going. To, we're gonna kill this Bem Star. We're gonna kill this Bem Star. This peaky looking ass. Why are you in my town? What does burn even do? Like to an enemy that has it. Like I know he's on fire, but he wasn't taking like dots damage or anything. It, it didn't look like it was damaging him. Cool, cool, cool. We want to get territories captured immediately, as fast as possible. It appears your kaiju doesn't have bones. I know. I'm aware. Hey, come here. I want to eat another one of these here shallots. I know it's going to make you even more squishy, but that's a price I'm willing to pay. Keep eating drugs. It makes sense that he would be extremely squishy. We're stacking speed. We're chat. We're doing an RNG build. <laughs> an official battle this week. Well, I, it keeps telling me about the A class thing because I just accessed that before Mario retired. But it's like, <laughs> I'm not going there, but I will send El Ligmundo to kill everyone at E rank. Let's go. Let's get out there, El Ligmundo. An exciting battle, folks. Will El Ligmundo instantly kill everyone? In E rank. There's really not that many. Of, I honestly don't even know if we have to gamble this. <laughs> I feel like this is just going to be really embarrassing for most of them because Eligmundo's already at D rank for sure. No, let's not even bother. Woo! 
Let's not bother for this one. We'll start at D rank because E is E is just nothing. E's tutorial characters, as you can see. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, next up, we have to kill Baru Baru. Drop out. It's giving me the option to skip fights now. But I don't try. See, the reason I wouldn't do that is because all of El Ligmundo's moves other than Mochi Bullet literally suck. So, um, I'm not about to let him do it himself and never get a kill because he autopiloted and used any of his other moves. Auto resolve is, I think, suicide on him. All right, beauty bodies next. What's up? Skipping all these cutscenes because it doesn't matter. Oh! An upset! Missed with the fucking bullet, idiot. That's incredibly violent. I wonder if he'll, he'll be okay against other int builds at higher levels. Well, int, the thing with int is that it also works as the defense for int moves. So the higher your int, the more resistant you are to other int, to my knowledge. So int can fight int. Oh! I don't like the, I don't like the El Ligmundo low angle. But anyways, E-Class, official battle. He got there. He's got, he got there. He's out there. People are having El Ligmundo fever and they're having it hard, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, they got the fever for El Ligmundo. He's on the mind. Eyes on, <laughs> eyes on Ligmundo, you know what I mean? Eat some ultra meat. We really don't have any spices to make this any more interesting, huh? Well, either way, he's resting. But he doesn't need anything to lower his anger because... He doesn't need that. We need to buy spices. He's getting tired of it. I would get- I'd be getting tired of it too. We need to buy- we need to buy peppers for him. Let's buy some peppers. Whoa! Cut! Alright, he wants peppers, guys. Let's come. All right, let's go buy him some peppers. He's roaring. They don't fucking sell any. Wait, is she still having a fucking sale? I don't have any peppers. We gotta discover those out in the wild. Anyways, here's another shallot. This is the last one. So eat it. Become big and strong. G rank defense. Yeah, we gotta fix that. But that was the last shallot, so it's not gonna go any lower. Look, we were just trying to clear out all the shallots. Better for it to be really low now than be dropping when it matters later. Glass cannons? The only way I know how to play. It's the only way I know how to play. He's so mad. Learning a new technique isn't gonna be easy. Never tell me the odds. Boost life and defense, it's time. Tomato ignores all the lore because no one fucking cares about it. <laughs> no one cares! There's so much talking in this game. And none of it matters. Succeed. All right, you gotta succeed every single one of these, just like Mario and Jerry. All right, no one I know ever failed an air entry. Try to get that defense back up to a thousand so I don't get laughed at. Super success. Ow! 
actually failed? Dude. He still learned new tech, though. Oh, the lick move. That's a withering one. That's better than the slap. I'll tell you what. Lowers guts dramatically. That's a withering C. Get rid of the slap. He's the chosen one. Take this bouquet. Get your fame up. We need people to love you. Okay. Int priority moving up. Int priority is all the way up now. All right. That was, that's a, we're, that seems like a pretty big move. There's no need to gamble this. We're just going here to flex and get fame. Because El Ligmundo's also going to play the fame game. What's up, beauty body? They dropped out. They also, Silver also dropped out. Go ahead, drop, everyone drop out. It's cool. Othello wants to fight. What does fame do? Makes me feel better. Hey, Othello. I see you're still an E rank monster. I see you're still here, Eddie. Why did you decide you wanted to fight me? There. Come here. Look. Minus 18 guts? So what that move is, is a stun lock that does damage, a lot of damage, in the grand scheme of a wither move. It takes away 18 guts. Holy shit. I've seen it crit for minus 32 guts before. It's so cheap. Chad, if it was more expensive, I'd be like, that makes sense. That's so cheap. It barely costs any guts on my side, and I take theirs away when I do it. That's insane. You did well out there. 20 for minus 18. I'm just I'm just taking away their shit. True Ligma build. <laughs> kind of want to go kill Gandar. Also kind of want to go till I want to also kill Ganku Bemstar. I need int and skill more than I need int and life. I'm gonna go kill this fucking guy. What's up, Peaky? Like, he actually dodged it. But it's cheap enough that I get another. Mochi bullet. You see, you always are worrying about the lick now. You're not thinking about the gun. Fuck off my turf. All right, the beach is mine. Our boy is too powerful. Powerful. Halfway through first year. Doing pretty well. 
We still don't have any spices to give him. Well, let's see. He likes warm stuff. So he's still, Ultra Meat's still the best one to give him. I guess I have to give him this so he won't get, like, upset. Either way, he's resting after this, so no biggie, I guess. I really need to get more spices. Can you not buy spices? I have to get them from Adventures, I think. Which are only active sometimes, and I wasn't doing them before because it felt like a bad idea. While I was still trying to get Mario to his maximum potential. He's almost like a C-class monster after half a year? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm taking this so seriously. Technically, he could learn some crit tech, but that's the worst place for him. We're not gonna boost his power. We're not even bothering with power. We're skipping it. It's too low already. It's being left behind. I love money, but I don't love money that much. I'm gonna- we need to train. It's training time. Going to the beach. We want to make Fuller Beach a territory as fast as possible. Success. God, that poor defense. <laughs> but what does it matter if I lick them? Over and over again. <laughs> Gee, no! Hmm. Nah. Back to the beach. He is- I- I've never seen a monster actually fail these things. Scald him. He fucks up so much. It's humiliating. It's humiliating. His, his greatest flaw is that he fails. <laughs> his greatest flaw is he sucks sometimes. I just don't know what to do. When did I go wrong? Don't suck lick. That is true. Oh, he gave me a pillow. Thanks. Why did you read that? Because it's objectively what he's supposed to be doing in the arena! Eat this candy. I don't- I don't train failures. Okay. I don't train failures. Now make that place your fucking territory and start gaining incredible int. El Ligmundo is getting used to you little by little. Good. You need to start respecting me more. Alright, cause I don't play around. Shallots. <laughs> now it's time to find out if you're a D-class warrior. Okay, if you got what it takes. Cause I'm fighting for those fucking shallots. I see shallots, we go. Crack snack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Toy. It's been some time. Oh yeah. He's ready for this. We should do a gamba on the next drill. Time that person out. 
true, but time him out. Lick move. He actually got confused still. You can't be getting confused! Lick. Lick. Alright, he dodged that. That's fine. That's fine. He doesn't actually do that much damage. Yeah, we got him. We got him. See, it'll be the lick move is better when we're fighting a guy that has very expensive guts moves. Uh, toys are all cheap. I know that because uh, Mario, God bless his soul, his were cheap. What's up, horn dude? Let's just get this over with. Lick. Nice dodge on that one, horn dude. Nice fucking dodge. Dodge this one. Nice dodge, man. The fuck you just do to me? He actually shot El Ligmundo with a gun. El Ligmundo is in, in horrible pain. Because he's gotten hit every single time. He hasn't dodged yet. Right, El Ligmundo, get in there, melee. He tried to kill me right there, but he fucked it up. Yep, that's it, because... 35% uh, chance to hit, by the way. That's why we need to start pumping life. Because uh, no amount of defense or dodge matters when someone can just get lucky. Uh, and win anyways. Uh. Huh. Couldn't dodge at 35% three times, Eligmundo. You seem to fail a lot, Eligmundo. Like, it's like, I, I don't know. I feel like I trained you better. But you miss a lot of fucking hits, by the way, as well. Doesn't seem to dodge much. Seems to just kind of stand around and catch every attack. And then get confused and get hit. It's just, I'm kind of wondering when you're going to wake up! You want to end up like, you want to end up like Cherry? You want to be a Mario, you want to be a Cherry? Gets hit by every move! He's only a baby. I don't care. We lost the shallots because of that. You know, we don't fucking win out for that? The drugs. Yeah, get angry. Get angry. I hate how much fame he already has. I'm gonna encourage him only because I need him to stop getting fucking confused. This isn't just a game chat. <laughs> this isn't a game. You eat this old leftovers. No. Rest. How many people went all in? Who could have known that El Ligmundo would catch every fucking attack? Who could have known? Getting strong Neopets vibes from this. Don't fucking bring Paul Paul into this.
Don't you bring Paul Paul into this. He's gonna get bored of this and he's gonna get mad at me. Watch, I have nothing to spice it with because we haven't found anything because he keeps failing. He's got like one more week of this before he's gonna get mad. A warning announcement. Several animals have been abducted around Ultra Valley. Abducted? There's kaiju abductors? People are abducting kaijus. I'm sending you back to the errantry. I'm sending you back to college. All right, I, don't, I, I didn't raise no fucking fool. You come back with another withering move. Success one, speed, up. Success two, speed, int, up. Super success. Massive success. New tech! The mochi tune. This guy learns tech like crazy though. Let's give him some credit on that. All right, I'll give I'll give him some credit on one thing. Okay? He learns tech like it's no one's fucking business. He's going to get mad about the ultra meat. Yep. Wait, I don't have any spices to feed him. I literally can't make him like any happier cuz we they I haven't been able to go on an adventure. So, uh, I don't know what else to say to that. He'll peak early. Shut up. Shut up. Look at how fast he gets his energy back. I mean, it's so easy to chill him out. Yeah, I don't think he'll ever get mad. Our muscle power cup. We've done that before. See, we're only after rewards at this point. Well, I do want to check this move. Because Headbutt's got to come off. That thing sucks. Drain the opponent's fighting spirit with a strange song, lowering guts dramatically. 27 guts that one costs. Probably drains about the same. Anyways. I'd like you to now go and train with Cult. I'm sending you back to camp! <laughs> Two mirrored mochis are hanging out today in the mountains. It almost looks like normal monster rancher like this. Eat shit. Success. Another incredible success. I really do need to boost uh, health and defense soon. <laughs> nice dodge. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Super success! They're honing techniques now. I want a laser beam like that. He knows how to do it here, do it in a fight. Incredible growth. He learns tech every time! 
What? How does he learn tech every time? He almost has every move. Incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. I just want him to grow up to one day fucking break Ultraman's neck. You know what I mean? Is that so wrong? Is it so wrong to have dreams for your child? I just want Ultraman fucking dead by my hands, ideally. Eat this relaxing cocoa. Even though Ultraman saved us twice? Yeah, I don't care. Hang on, before I let him rest. Yeah, no, we're going- we're gonna kill this fucking guy. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna go kill him. I know you're tired, but I'm not gonna let him fuck up our territory. You're gonna- you're gonna reclaim it. What's up, Mario? Should I say Luigi? Should have never come to this part of town. Poor Mario. Mochi Tune! He dodged the screech. Pedal Swirl! Holy shit! Well, that was that crit we talked about. Get off my property. I only did it so that that guy would get off the property. I didn't really care about the power gain. Okay, Eligmundo, you're taking a break now, man. You've earned it. Take it easy. Take a break. He's so chill all the time, though. He really does have, like, maximum... Like, I never have to have him stopping for anger, ever. Which is pretty cool. Learning a new technique isn't gonna be easy. But if we did this, he'd gain some life and defense again. I'm so fucking rich. You know what I mean? He does need some more health or defense. He needs it. And there's even a chance maybe he'll get a new technique again because he gets those almost every time somehow. Elon moment. Shut up. Not true. Success. I don't need defense and health up high. But I'd like one or the other. I'd like defense above a thousand in life. Obviously, actually high. I think that would be cool. That would be epic. Yeah, I'll take a new tech, because somehow he learns every tech in the game automatically. It's a fucking melee one. But somehow he learns every tech in the game the second it's available. I don't know how. I really don't know how. How? How has he learned every tech? Instantly! I mean, it's good for me. I'll take it. Hang on. I need to buy things. Hang on. Do I have, like, things to actually sell? Sell this. It just says G on, like, its symbol makes me think that it's, like, garbage. Used to make feast. I don't know how to make a feast. I can't spend, I can't spend money buying more shallots, right? We could, no.
buying you one more, shall I? I'm buying you one more. The faster you grow in the first year, the better you're gonna be in every year after. Okay, I know how this fucking game works. Eat these! Eat it now! Yes. Yes! Now rest, my son. For tomorrow you take the lives of many in the arena. Did he just talk about the recession? I think he just had a dream about the recession. I, o I only saw the- I only saw it scrolling by, I think... El Ligmundo had a dream about the economic collapse of America. <laughs> he had a nightmare about the recession. Alright, I'm just gonna give you food that's like... Variety. I'm gonna give him, uh, nutrition pellets. Enjoy. Wait, no. Uh, maybe don't give him that. It says bad right on the label. I'm gonna give you fish. Unless you hate fish. Do you hate cold? Fuck. He's so picky. I'm gonna give you six grain. I'm gonna give you this. Okay, enjoy. He's satisfied. Good. Ah. Okay, now we can give him ultra meat again. Huge roasted potato if we kill all the fuckers in this one. Let's go. Besides, he needs some fights in it. He needs some fights under his belt. Well, well, well. What have we here? Toy. It's been some time since I've seen you. See, this would be cool if my character actually cared about power. But I guess it's really high hit chance, which might be important at some point. So I guess I'll keep it on the character. It might be worth it. Toy, good to see you, man. Don't know why you keep showing up. I don't know why you show your face around here anymore. Pedal swirl. Didn't do as much guts damage as I thought it would. Oh, he's using the anti-kaiju bullet. Nice fucking try, I'm not a kaiju, I'm a little monster, a little guy. Can't hurt me like that. I'll be taking all 25 of your guts. And now you're- now he's trapped in gut starvation, dude. Nice try pushing me. We both know that slows you down. You run out of moves, toy! You run out of moves. You run out of moves. You don't got no moves left. Get licked. Ligmundo. El Ligmundo. Mochi bullet. How you doing, man? The fight started, I he just pulled out a gun. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know what I mean? Ba -ba -ba -ba. I just gunned him down. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Don't show up in this neighborhood. All right. Is this the new card? Man watched himself die from 500 angles. Yeah, it's not a good look for these people. This is definitely a C rank character, El Ligmundo. Come here. Nick. He's got to boost my skill, dude. My skill's my problem. I need more hit chance. Gotta raise that hit chance. Gotta get it up there. I'll be taking my, uh, big baked potato now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This also pays for another shallot. 
The people love El Ligmundo. Hashtag Ligmundo sweep. Do good job. The people adore El Ligmundo. But now he's gonna take a rest. He's earned it. I love El Ligmundo. I can tell Sam loves El Ligmundo. Everyone loves El Ligmundo, all right? Everyone does. He's such a cute little guy, even though he's the size of a, like a small town. He's such a freaking cute little guy. All right, back to the beach. <laughs> that pissed him off, but I don't care. Back to the beach. Back to the beach to fish. I don't accept failure anymore, El Ligmundo! Scolded! It's been one year since you were born, and most of the time what I see from you is failure. He's been sticking to me like glue lately. I think he loves me. I think he's spoiled. He's spoiled. That's the fucking problem. He's got- he's giving me a gift. He got me zesty and pepper. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. I'm mad. <laughs> no, I- I didn't stutter. I'm mad. Come on, we're going to kill Gankyu Bemstar right now. Matter of fact, no, you're going to kill him yourself. Good. Year two. He's a year old. We're gonna give him his favorite. Ultra meat with zestium spice. He loves it. Good. At least we, uh, you know what? For all the failures he has, at least we don't have to worry about getting mad. Because that did cost weeks. Happy birthday, little guy. He's ha it's his birthday. Happy fucking birthday. Stay healthy. He can, he can learn a new trait. All right, we're going to the cookie shop. This is more fun for me than it is for him, to be honest. Let's go to the cookie shop. The fire move is not on the table anymore, Chad, I don't think. It's good, but unless we got a second fire move, I'm not going to give him a fire cookie. Okay, we're gonna shop. We're gonna do a little more shopping, then we'll look at the list. Okay? I love shopping for cookie. Cookie. He's a witherer now. We want stuff for withering. Deal damage with knockback. Yuck. No. Ew, that'd ruin him. We want stuff that fucks with monster guts. That just really ruins it. You don't want them to have any energy in a fight. Make defense easier to raise with drills. I mean, that's not horrible, but we're never gonna invest in it. Nope. Next one. Thank God I'm a billionaire. And can simply, rather than raise my child properly, invest millions of dollars into their health separately. Better be good. Take damage twice in a row to boost power and reduce intelligence. That's the worst fucking one I could possibly have. hundred dollars per cookie. Ultraman! The 
the Ultraman cookie! <laughs> nah. Because here's the thing. Uh, Eligmundo's never going to be below 30% health. He's going to be above 50 or dead. <laughs> I, I'm not giving him that. That's for someone else. That's someone else's future cookie. That's like the that's like a tank monster's future cookie. All right, because Eligmundo is a one shotter, as in by that I mean he's gonna die in one shot. And I don't really want power. Give me something good. Make power easier to raise with errantry. Wow, that's the worst. Fuck off, Michael. Don't worry, chat. There's gonna be a good one soon. We, I just don't know why they keep giving us power stuff. Tomato, no. If you keep making cookies, you'll become one of the poor. They cost so little to make. The thing that's gonna make me a poor is buying shallots and sending my son on constant camping trips. Okay, that's what makes me poor. What the fuck is that ugly thing? Boost power if opponent's life gauge is high. We don't want power! Stop! My credit card's letting me down. I'm grabbing my cell phone. I use my cell phone to summon the greatest cookie in the game, Ultraman 2. Skill tech boost. I mean, that's crit stuff, but I want withering boost. Please. God, what's a skill tech? Crit tech. Stuff for critting. He must, he's almost entirely skill, isn't he? No. Deal damage with knockback. Use the card with your SSN. That doesn't have a, that doesn't have a chip in it. Or I would. We're getting dupes. It's bad luck. Okay, but I'm not gonna give my son a bad cookie. Yuck. What is that shit? Rival kaiju appear more often in territories? Why would I want that? Why would anyone want that? Rival kaijus do not pay as well as like... Just doing the training once you actually have an actual territory. Bad. 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 Okay, chat, we can only do this another 856 times. We gotta start speeding this up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you have eight free slots left? Chat, I know, and then I can sell and destroy cookies. Okay? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, no, you're, you're capped at it. You can't get any more after that. Are you kidding me? Of course I can. Can I? Actually, that's not half bad. But it's not good. That's so good for power build. Oh, I know. It would have been great for Mario if he wasn't retired. Maybe my credit card was the best one. The phone really got me even shittier stuff. Loot box stream. Where are the int things? It's just RNG. Give me an int item. Critical tech boost. Then what's skill tech boost? I'm confused. Hit chance. Skill is hit chance. I don't know. Is it? It's hit chance. Okay. 
Sharp is crit. Can I just have Wither? Wither or anything that mentions Int at this point, I would accept. Holy shit, Michael. Fuck off. Didn't buy a Wither phone. Intlet. Shut up. Shut up. That might end up being what we have to do. I'm gonna keep going. I know I have two of those now. But we're doing a lot of low use things and we're spamming moves. Wait, that's a new one. Wait a minute, that's not the power one. This boosts skill. So if I hit three times, my chance to hit goes up even more. That might be it. I'm gonna do a couple more, but that that's really good. That might be it. Considering how cheap all of Mochi's moves are to use, that might be it. By three times they die. That is true. I don't, know, I don't want to be here forever, so it's going to be that if we don't get one soon. They're not always going to die in three hits. <gasps> Intelligence easier to raise with Errantry. We are so rich, that's it. That's it. Aaron Tree is like all we do. Because he has the fucking mental fortitude to do a ton of Aaron Trees. We want that every time. That's it. That's the one. Take a rest. Tomorrow I send you back to the intelligence mines. Hey, Big Load. That's a glorious full moon this month, don't you think? Sometimes we need to relax. Big load, did you hear that? What's going on? I, I, you didn't hear it? What's happening? There's some kind of creature. Oh my god, it's a creature. It's flying at such speed. Everyone look out, there's a horrible monster. It's King Ghidorah. No, it's not, that's not true. Scripted death, shut up. I'm so tired of you. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Eligmundo. Nice to see you. I need you to go to Fuller Beach with Colt. Okay, and train your int and skill until you become the most powerful warrior ever. Go now. Don't return until you have 10 million skill. Don't even bother coming back. Time for your brain to go up. 56 on the first one's really big. 56 on number one is big. 78 on number two is huge. Okay. Ninety-five. Holy shit, he gains a lot of int on these. <laughs> he gets a lot of int now. His gr his head is growing. 154 on the last one. I mean, that's only going to go up. As he gets older. When he gets closer to his prime. Oh, he got me a gift. It's like another comfy pillow. See, what's nice is I to keep timing these errand trees in such a way that I can avoid paying, uh, like, to feed him. Which is nice. We're gonna rest. 
this might be the one, the god tier kaiju. He gets so much fatigue back too when he rests. He's just always on, dude. He's always on. So what's going on today on the thing? Blizzard Cup, can't do the IMA one. Nah, nothing worth it there. Anyways, back to camp. Aaron Tree fees are at a discount with Victor for a limited time. He's gonna teach me int and speed? Go. I know he's about to get angry. We'll send him to kill something after this. Keep becoming smarter. Keep becoming faster. Keep becoming angrier. You will channel your power until you are a god. Faster. Smarter. Stronger. Speed's dodge chance, yeah. Holy shit, he got fucking like 400 stat off of that or some crap. His Aaron Tree gains are huge. Like colossal, his Aaron Tree gains. Eligmundo needs a break. Good. Take a rest, Eligmundo. Tomorrow, you kill. He wants friends. You don't need those. <laughs> you don't need those. You need to kill more things, Eligmundo. There's an official battle this week. It's time for you to become a C rank warrior. It's about time. It's about time. Time for you to rise to C rank. Arise! El Ligmondo. Arise. All you have to do is kill Leary, Horn Dude, and that other guy. And you'll be in C rank again, like the last one. Having friends is D-rank mentality? I know, right? Horn dude. We all hate Horn dude. <laughs> Lick him right in his eye. <laughs> really give him what's for on this one. Mochi Toon. He dodged. Dodge this. Lick. Dodge this one. I'm confused. He's also confused. Minus 20 guts on most of my uh, wither attacks, huh? Pedal Swirl! Ow, he fucking kicked me. Get away from me. I've reduced his speed. Dodge this, motherfucker. Never mind, I'm confused still. Hip attack is the most accurate move you have. I know, I can read. It's also not a good attack and does about five damage. That's why I don't use it. Horn dude, huh? How many times I gotta kill you, horn dude, before you retire? Freak.
God, chat, you guys are like so worried that I'm gonna die all the time. All right. Let's see how much, let's see how much this move actually does then. So we're all on the same page. So you never bring it up again. Never mind. I like Mundo wanted to do pedal swirl and double crit. Which is definitely our best move. Pedal swirl is very good. I would rather live standing than die kneeling. That, I mean, like, against, you're gonna say that against El Ligmundo? He'll fucking just, he'll kill you. He, he, he'll, he'll, but first he'll, like, knock you over. Like, I don't think he cares about stuff like that. Well, toy. Really just a tragedy what happened out here today, ladies and gentlemen. Will you let me do this move? He's doing the rocket fist! Hip attack! 147 damage. Pedal swear. 594 damage. If I have to choose between two moves that have almost the same amount of guts, but one also simultaneously takes away their guts and does like four times the damage, I'll, I will take the one that does uh, everything alongside my build. I don't have the power for hip check. Int. 3,000. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, El Ligmundo is one, beloved by millions. And two, a C rank warrior at the age of one and a half. Mario had a hard life. He did. He really did. Mario had a hard life. We all know this. He didn't get the same opportunities that El Ligmundo now has. He crawled so that El Ligmundo could run. Okay. We all know... Can I kill anyone for, like, money in this? No. I only fight for shallots. I can't go here and kill that guy. It's fucked up. We're gonna go here. We're gonna keep training. Even though he fails almost every one of his beach things, we're just gonna keep training. He fails so many beach things. But we wanna get his territory locked in, because these two stats are great for him. He wants his territory locked. I wish El Ligmundo was real. You don't really want that. You think you do, but you don't. Can you extend a kaiju's lifespan? Yeah, by ignoring his health. <laughs> by ignoring his health and pretending it's not a problem. Is exactly how. He's giving me a gift. Me, wow, thanks. Wow, neato! Get back to fishing. I need you to get Fuller Beach as a territory now. Wonderful. Defense back to G. <laughs> I'm just so tired of it. Learning a new technique isn't going to be easy. I don't remember fucking asking. Whoa! No, dude! Fuck! He's mad! 
Enigmando, you listen to me right now. Oh, who's he fighting? Now, who's that kaiju? <laughs> it's just some guy. What can we do? Your kaiju battles with what? What your kaiju battles wild? Uh, kaiju without your permission. His stats will grow if it wins. Oh, well, he's probably gonna win. This is probably good. I hope he wins. Unless he's an S-Class wandering kaiju. Do I get to control him or is he, what is he? Oh yeah, this is about to be a slaughter. I have control. No, I don't. No, I don't. He's using the gotcha move. Don't use a power move, you fucking idiot. Do the lick move. Don't you dare! Okay, he knows to do the lick move. Use pedal swirl! Okay, this is bully. This is bullying. He's bullying. It's okay. He's gonna try to slap him to death, I think. Oh, fuck. Okay, well... This worked out in my favor as long as I didn't get charged for that errantry. So I think I might have though. Not bad, Eligmundo, not bad. Defense back up. Maybe he was just mad that his defense went down. To G. I didn't, I better not have gotten charged, because I'm not, I'm gonna fucking punch that asshole in the face that just charged me for that. If, if he thinks he's gonna walk away with my money after we didn't even go. I won't allow it. That would make anyone heckin' mad. Alright, Neil. We're learning that fucking stat, I don't care how mad you get. Get the hell out there, El Ligmundo! Train. Become powerful. 75 on the first game. 75? Oh. 108 on the second. 119 on the third. 200 on the last one. Back to G. We did not get a new move this time. First time it's never happened. <laughs> Who needs defense when you're so powerful by yourself, though? You know? Probably me. Dude, he's sick of- he's sick of fucking me again? Well, how about you fucking find us some zesty spice, then? You're gonna fucking complain. Well. Well, I can't send him on an adventure, he'd miss it. Wait, idea. What if we put him away, take out Mario, because he's still got like a couple weeks in him, take him on an adventure, get a bunch of shit, let Mario die on the scripted death. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Yeah! That's super smart, actually. That's a good idea. Because he's still got some time left. And we can just put, we can just put El Ligmundo away and then take him back out. Come on, Mario. El Ligmundo, I'll be back for you. Holy shit, 7,600 power, I totally forgot. Dies on the way to the ranch. <laughs> Woo, we finally made it, I'm totally exhausted. All right, let's go find that base camp. That'll do, now we can set out adventures from here. Not so fast, Kaiju needs stamina to go on adventures. Your Kaiju will have to walk around and break boulders and such. It's quite taxing. Okay, we'll have to get them to back to base camp before their stamina runs out, okay? 
Oh, their lifespan is gonna get shorter if I don't get them back in time. Oh no. <laughs> Don't say it ain't so. Okay, so there's trees and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Because there's treasure over here. Road's blocked. We can't go any farther. Break it open. You have 70,000 fucking damage. Get in there. Speed this up. Tree. Yeah, search this. Space chili pepper. Thank God. Keep looking. Okay, fuck off then. I don't fail twice ever. Alright, I'm gone. Searching is based off int, isn't it? Look, I'm just worried about the scripted death, man. Oh. Something's coming. Oh my god! Fight it. This is the scripted death. Chat, we were warned about this. We were warned about this one. Oh wait, it's just... HOLY SHIT! <laughs> MARIO! I didn't hear no fucking bell, get the fuck over here. Kick. Number one. Kick. Number two. Dodged. Yeah, you're gonna have to hit me with that shit. You're gonna fucking really have to aim hard- OW FUCK! MY BODY! <gasps> I lived! He dodged an attack at 72% chance, huh? Get away from him. Your only chance is to do the- Is to dodge this, by the way. That's a scripted death right there. Man, Adventure Zones are really fun. <laughs> I lived. That only mildly inconvenienced my character, but I swear to God, Mario's not coming back home until he finds me a bunch of spice so that Frickin' Eligmundo will stop crying. Nothing. I have enough to, like, go to a hundred stamina before I go back. I'm not afraid of the same kaiju twice. Square up, pussy. Let's fucking dance then. Huh? <gasps> Wait, this guy's this guy's totally dead. Who are these people? Thank God I didn't send my baby boy out here, dude. What is this, like the Grim Reaper from fucking, like, Dragon's Dogma? Dark Arisen, here to instantly kill me and my party? Alright, pussy. Alright, he dodged that. Cause he's got a billion speed. Alright, I don't think I'm winning. Okay. Is that the best you got? Okay. Is that the best you got, pussy? You just better wait till I get my guts, then you're dead. This guy has no idea how crazy I'm about to get. 
Just let me get away from you and far enough to check crash! 10% chance to hit! Okay. Adventure zones are a troll. Yeah, no, we learned that today. Don't fight anything in adventure zones. Uh, they're troll zones. Good news is that only cost him a little bit of stamina. Fuck, he has to go back though. We'll spend the rest of our stamina like searching a tree at the base. It's Cause he's A rank. You're telling me that's what an A rank fucking monster looks like? Thank God he's retired, man. Mario doesn't stand a chance out here. Dude literally walked off the Grim Reaper. Aren't you supposed to get fucked up on the first attempt? I don't fucking know, man. I got some spare stamina. I'm gonna do it uh, at this tree. Foreign currency. Was it supposed to be treasure? One more time. We'll totally make it back. We'll make it back at 30. No problem. We made it. End the adventure. Yeah, end the adventure. Fuck Carbino, dude. <laughs> Oh, that was a success. That's what a success looks like. That's actually what a successful day is. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, Mario. I didn't want you to think that I was keeping you out here. Back in the box with you. Out of retirement? <laughs> no. Coming back into the box right now. I just didn't want to send... I just didn't want to send, uh... My boy. In there. Eligmundo. Back in the box, Mario. Eligmundo, are you okay? What's some of that? Oh, he's tired. He needs to rest. You guys are awfully mean to El Ligmundo sometimes. It pisses me the fuck off. Like, you, like, fuck up. Don't be mean to my boy. Because I ain't laughing. It's not funny. Anyways, I went back to hang out with Neil. Neil? Unlock my new move! Now! Arise! The great intelligence of the Super Eligmundo. Actually, this isn't even an intelligence one. I'm going for skill and speed right now, which I also desperately need. But I do want the intelligence move. So. Damn it. Damn it. No way he'll fail again. He failed again. He's got a gift for me. Better be shallots. It's, ju it's honey. Rest. Don't be mean to him. He's a good boy. Being a good boy doesn't let him survive getting shot. Okay, he needs to be stronger. Okay. Good boys can't deflect fucking laser cannons. Okay, I actually do like that though. More like an ugly boy. 
the hell you just say? The hell you just say? I think Katie said it best. Fuck you, freak. Step in here, try to pick up my boy. Where'd you get a smoked snake? Where'd you find that? I mean, I'm sure as shit not sending them over here. Although a support skill, this would get his stuff back up. We should. This might also uh, get us a new move anyways, because their life they've never gotten a life move. It might get us a life move, but it also we it can boost our defense back to F instead of G. Which I would dare call a necessity right now. What the fuck is that? Some disgusting creature? I don't know. I'm just trying to keep my defense out of G. Give me a new move, though. He gets so much gain on his Aaron trees, dude. It's like, that's why I'm doing it every time. New tech. Pedal Vortex. What, what exactly is Pedal Vortex? I like anything that's called Vortex. 42 skill move, though. There's an official battle this week, but El Ligmundo is definitely not good to go. He needs to rest. He will always hit and do nothing. Nah, it's got some kind of side stat to it. I know that. It's got some kind of... so It's a support move. So it's gonna do something that supports you. Have a little bit of faith. I thought I just told him to eat this. It's like, as, once it cooks it, it's like, are you sure you want him to eat this? Always confuses me. It always kind of wigs me up. Do skills get passed through fusion? If you th look, ev everything that you think you know about fusions in video games that would sound like it makes sense, throw it out of your fucking head. There you go. So everyone, everyone lets that go. Get it out of there. Free yourself. No, whatever you think it does, wrong. <laughs> Okay, I need to disable this. Cover yourself in a flurry of cherry blossoms to recover life. Huh. A healing move. That's probably not very good for us. Anyways. Does he get mad? Nice. Back to Neil. <laughs> Back to the air entries. Keep boosting speed and in. Let's fucking roll. He fucking hates Neil? I don't care, he's gotta learn more wither moves. Get to 4k now. If he gets to 4k, I bet he'll get a new move. He's gotta get to 4k first. Good shit. Nice. Mochi! Boom! Laser cannon. Laser cannon. B damage. Signature move. Ultimate attack. 
The ultimate attack. Now we let him rest and then we take him to the fucking tournament. Apex Predator. <laughs> He's the Apex Predator. I'd like him to rest on this comfy pillow. He's so mad. I know, but that's because I push him insanely hard because he can take it. And that anger makes him more powerful in a fight, I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna send him into a tournament. Bello Magnum Cup. No, I don't really care about that. We want to do the C-Class off. I might do Barrage Commemorative next uh, week as well. Let's do more fishing. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do this one. I need to know how he's gonna do in C rank before I send him in. So doing a, a lower tier C rank feels like the right call. This guy is over 4,000 IQ, but is still your pet. Cause like, cause he respects me. Okay. Disable this. Thrombo's fucking done. Whoa, 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 Thrombo. He's like, it's trying to be me, but he just doesn't have what it takes. Mochi boom. Holy shit. That doesn't look like a dodgeable move. It looks like I sent an asteroid down from Earth and it lagged my switch. It lagged my switch, Jet. Okay, I machine. Um, Mochi Boom. He dodged it. I don't know how you dodge Mochi Boom. Nice. Oh, cool beam. Cool beam. Lick. Now you don't have any guts. He's trying to absorb my essence. Why don't you come here? Why don't you get the fuck away from me? Why don't you enjoy Mochi Boom? Pathetic. So, you're telling me, prior to reaching his second year of age, Mochi, this boy, El Ligmundo, will very likely be a B rank character. Because these are all C rank. These are the rank of the tournament coming up. He still gets confused sometimes, man. You got Bem Star Horned. You can't be getting crit like that! Pedal Swirl. Get out of my face. An easy win. Let's get him out of let's get him out of C rank. Let's get him out of C rank. He's full of so much hatred. He's a hundred percent love. 
Everyone loves him. We all love him. Eligmundo? Everyone loves Eligmundo. In his hollow, black, soulless eyes. Take a rest. He didn't sleep a wink. Fuck. Okay, well, lowered his anger, but he needs to rest. I was hoping I could squeeze in another Aaron tree before sending him on the mission. Alright. So when is the tournament? We have... End of December. Last tournament before he's two years old. Well, technically two. He's like gonna have a week off before he actually becomes two now because of his... Because I stashed him in the bank for a little bit. He will rest now, though. Halfway dead. Has he even reached his prime yet? No, I guess they're like halfway through year two. He's only one year old, technically. Go fishing. Hot damn. Got one more day before tournament time. So go back to Fuller Beach and keep training. I need your skill, higher. You, you smart! But you ain't skilled enough yet. The bloom. What was that at the end there? What, did he get shot? What was that sound? They said their whole body hurt. They're, they're gonna be fine. Or I'm sending you to the C rank tournament. It's time. The C class official battle. Eligmundo versus Big Scissor. He literally said the atmospheric pressure was hurting him. I don't know what to fucking do about that. <laughs> I li literally, there's nothing I can do about that. If someone walked up to me and was like, help, the atmospheric pressure of this world is killing me, I'd be like, sounds like a like fucking you problem. I don't know. All right, he's tanky. I'll give him that. Train his guts. Take all of his guts away. Get him on equal footing with me. And then bring him down to the bottom with me! Yeah, now we both have to stare at each other. Your moves look pretty expensive, Big Scissor. All right, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool, I'm cool. You should use a move soon, though. And you lost your chance. So how you doing, man? I, it must be so frustrating to not be able to play. Hey, you almost got time to do a move, though. You just pushed me back. Mochi tune. Ah, oh, you almost had a chance to do a move. Hey, don't worry, dude. I'll, I'll give you a chance to do a move. IN HELL! So toxic. That's a wither character, dude.
But yeah, the mochi blast, <laughs> if it hits, dude, that's a, that's a big move. Who's this clown? Cosmo. I'm not too worried about Cosmo. Mochi song. And lick. Ooh, you don't want to get confused like that, man. That's gonna cost you everything. He's got like one hit on me. He had to land it though. He really had to land that. Are you sure you want to send me out into the ranged zone, man? You missed. And now you're slower. It's been 30 seconds. Your time's up. Why don't you come over here? Now why don't you get the hell back there? And pray whatever god you have. got blasted by the mochi boom imagine doubting you really shouldn't be like I was saying before the third creature of monster ranch was always the one that has access to all of the stuff that the other two uh, couldn't do so this guy was uh, pretty much destined to be strong simply by having access to more uh, chances Oh, look at that, a mirror match. Except instead of training your damage, you train speed. You better dodge. Better dodge. He's dodging. Okay, asshole. You should have dodged. You really should have dodged. Next up is Eligmundo versus Mach 1. Oh wait, he dropped out. Never mind, folks. He dropped out of the official C rank battle against someone who is literally C rank. What a fucking coward. A fucking, name a more iconic fucking thing than these bird idiot creatures dropping out of fights and sucking. Alright, Earth Power. The only one that can stop me. Let's see what you got. Not much. Sure about this man? The fuck out of my face. Mochi Bullet. He's he's charging right at me. He knows if, he, if I get away from him, he's gonna... Lose his chance to beat me. He'll get away from me. Keeps running at me, but then he doesn't even do a move. Goals ahead, but... He... Missed. Okay. And Mochi Boom. And Mochi Toon. He dodged that one. And Mochi Lick. He dodged that one. Got missed. And there's your second lick, baby. Get the fuck out of here. Licked to death? Licked to death? Did you even get hit? No. Of course not. He is El Ligmundo! A B rank warrior before even becoming a two year old creature. He's so cool. If he did, he would crumple like paper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, because here's the logic behind this character. 
Okay. He's a fast dodging wither character. Okay. But I'm stacking int. Int is also your defense against int moves. So, the only guys that can really hit me, okay, are int guys, because they're also stacking dodge. A guy that's using a bunch of power is being hit by me because they're slow, and therefore I'm withering them. So they can't use their moves. That's what happened to Godzilla. That's what happened to Big Lizard. He couldn't do any of his moves because I kept, I kept fucking up his uh, guts the whole time. You didn't have any time. You did well out there, El Ligmundo. You did a good job. You made me proud. And now I have a million dollars. <laughs> Again. Right on. I love being rich. I love being rich. I'd love to run El Ligmundo to his death right now, chat, but, uh, I do need to wrap up. I didn't want to go super long today, and also simultaneously, I have other plans. Uh, I got other stuff I gotta do tonight. But, uh, yeah. That's, a session two of Monster Rancher Kaiju thing. We'll probably do one more session, uh, to finish up El Ligmundo's quest and see where that takes us. Thank you very much for gifting subs and donating and etc. I really appreciate it. Uh, whether or not that'll be tomorrow, who fucking knows? I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I might just gun it as fast as I can and finish this. Uh, if not, probably Minecraft or something. But yeah, I got other stuff to do. So, thanks for coming on by. Thanks for gifting subs and donating bits. If you did, I really appreciate it. As always, we had a lot of people anonymously gifting and etc. Thanks. My bacon waffles, thanks for the two gifted subs as well. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. All right, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. at GST. Keep your eyes peeled. Goodbye.